<laughs> I haven't heard this song in so long. Yeah, I haven't heard it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> you were there. We came up with a playlist yeah. of all the Ocean songs. Dude, but, but just because we were looking up the songs doesn't mean I get to listen to oh, it and relive my childhood. Sure, we played Come Sail Away earlier and it was awesome. All six and a half minutes. <laughs> Alright, we ready? Better start there. Um, anyone not ready? It's the one in the drive. Under the is, it, is there anything new from the thing you sent us like two hours no. ago? Uh, maybe another pun maybe or something. Maybe a sentence or two. Yeah, like maybe a pun. pun. Pretty much a dinner. Oh, I... Okay, no new cards, though. Right, yeah. Um, I'll just find it in the actual Oh, yeah, we, we added a few more puns, I think. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. We, we have not updated a card since, like, yesterday. Um, where, just, what is it? It's, uh... Just under student handouts? Yeah, oh, yeah that one. Sick. LDPF right, demo round. Let me know when y'all got it up. Yep. You both right. good? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, yo! We need silence. Again, y'all can follow along. Yes. Yeah, read, it, it, read, this, the, Google Drive read the speech talk. Uh, I'm about to begin now. <laughs> Alright, listen up. <coughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. Advantage war is a satire to see high intent goal plunge the U.S. and China into inevitable conflict. The reinvigoration of I law can de escalate great power war. Richter 18, the U.S. is under close course with China over the SES attempts to reinforce I law. We can buy Richter status of law calls for the U.S. The U.S. is denied ratify own clothes for much costly, and the U.S. can get to the I law. This is an apparent double standard. China has continued to fund I law. China ignores U.S. clause within the U.S. on track for non compliance and refuses to ratify I law. The military to use I law to resolve conflicts and failure to resolve any of the escalation of the observance of the current undertaking to build I law to reserve as basis. The U.S. authorizes aggressive fund of the U.S. in the region due to breakdown in I law. The escalation of the two of the world hold mighty states and finally the collision course. No clear resolution. That goes nuclear winter 11. The U.S. charges the China's company to escalate the increased military presence away. Neither said nuclear war, it could both. But that's all the trouble. The U.S. said nuclear weapons during the Korean War, and NATO's charge was to respond to a uh, to attack by nuclear attack. Both nations could be reduced to wasteland, reactive debris, with blood off the sun, and bring on a nuclear winter. And SES is an extremely high common to immediate escalate PDI. Seventeen charges were warned of a nuclear war in America. Put it to be understood by the Chinese that the Chinese could be prevented from acting on the SES. The Chinese defeated the Philippines and other countries of the Chinese Party. Such a matter of up on nuclear power. The U.S. allows Washington to plan a large scale war in the Central Sea. Any other country would be foolish. China's acting on comparable with the Crimea. He said in a comment that so what the nuclear and the giant, it will be so quick for devastating competition between China and the US and failure to exceed the unclos is the single largest proximate cause that sabotages our moral standard, which allows China to assail its neighbors with impunity. Beach 16. <laughs> A great power of fusion, both international rules, declining and ratified, and maybe a commitment of more than 160 other countries. Power part of this renegade country is the U.S. And one of them was vocal country that originally tried to do the international rule. Republicans have routinely scuttled efforts to ratify and close Washington's outside of position on effects methods and urges trying to respect global maritime norms. They retired trying to top the deal without a big wall because the U.S. of heavy handed intervention in the SES. The South China Sea might sink into chaos. The U.S. DVD here is just principle. The American top right supplement support of the U.S. Republican Union's 20% of our moral state is affected by the fact that we are not a state to tune clause. If we are truly a bunch of that act of the SES, we said this actually should help strengthen our case. By approving the law of the state and reason to the SES approving the necessity of ratification, jettisoning, or close automatic credibility and norming, which goes overboard globally. Never 18. <laughs> Please, y'all, that's the one I see. <laughs> the Chinese recently led a bomb on a heavily disputed island. They've been mad at Chinese military decisions out of step with I law. The I law and the norms are equipped with the raw power control. China needs to be winning China. This is one of the eight laws ruling countries. The law of dire law of consequences of the rule of law of the region. The U.S. is willing to influence the outcome. is hampered by the fact the U.S. has not ratified and closed. It remains question about effectiveness and operations. And the U.S. has done this. Since the SES situation reinforces the need to consider the laws of the The U.S. routinely trusts the importance of that. The U.S. is making legal arguments for Chinese compliance with I law. Man is dated. We criticize the Chinese military but the U.S. is not a party. China is quick to remind the U.S. of its not party. That the diplomatic stalemate into the ratification would remove an enormous distraction that would only bolster U.S. credibility. The U.S. remains the only coastal state not party, and ratification necessary and sufficient to resolve SHN today. It's simply a commitment to global rule of law, which is out in salvage global norms. Card 16. What can the U.S. do to strengthen the global institutions that you join in class such? Would communicate that for the U.N. in resolution of the SES a question of being on the side of allied institutions the institutions of the failure to so kind undermine the ability to work with allies if we are not part of the it's difficult to rely on treaty to undermine the loyalty of the it's hard to suggest that the basis for resolving uh, the U.S. department of state support accession military leaders their participation will maintain navigation rights. We need to have a deep national security interest in how the country of China has it will disregard the ruling. It has elevated the case to a test for the international community of China. This is what have a grave blow to international destiny. Uh, class will, uh, today is a native nation to choose between law and order or ball today. Great power politics. To ratification and close to preserve U.S. interests in the Asia Pacific region. Future action would be more important to be caught by the choppy waters we must now navigate to secure and separate U.S. interests and values in the region. And Trump has sunk legitimacy. The plan is key to dredge up American leadership at a crucial juncture in IR. Cronin and Ha, 18. The U.S. needs to reach the to China and move towards a new maritime strategy. The China has ratified U.N. clause, but the history is selective. The U.S. has never ratified the treaty. The U.S. could ratify U.N. clause to advance America's interests by reinforcing favorable rules for the governance of the world. The U.S. U.N. clause would bolster American leadership at the time when many questions of the reliability of the same power and strengthening U.N. clause. And SES now is key as a high water mark of international security. Hate 19. 
It should be known as Savage Honor and Close by Papa Chuchu Cool Rule Shadows with Pops of Dimension. Ruling and a piece of waste paper shadows made behind the CSS. Now she is using force because they propose a threat and a piece of security. Significantly, the Southeast Asian climate time is to come to China and they continue to assert the rights. According to the new Close and Close, they cornerstone and national peace and security. I agree by all. Almost every country in the U.S. has not ratified the new Close. Writing good news about the material asking the world to be banned from But what we're seeing is that everybody trying to overturn it. If this succeeds, the new Close will be weakened everywhere. We're going to treat the pieces of waste paper and no agreement to save international order. Begins to break down as the paradigm taking towards the advantage to speak up for rights policy need to be protected. They also they slow class international security and I law reduces the likelihood of conflict. Empirical longitudinal analysis simmons in. Formal agreement to influence the duration of peace and treaties by the portal of raising in, 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 uh, uh, international audience as well as signaling intended ex ante. There's empirical basis strong rate of peace and lead to more durable peace and ever to undermine the dynamics of law of wars and study of eight uh, sub issue areas of treaties or a public center ratification necessary for uh, to understand that they are intended to honor the same business of the international community to be effective or the broad spectrum issues and China will give way only a risk formally joining anchorage to them to, uh, to comply with Gallo 16. Groups in China are going to disbar any arbitration ratifying UNCLOS will give this more leverage on the international scene, especially in relation to China and the U.S. Could say more convincingly for your party's damage. If the limit is UNCLOS reflects, I love the U.S. has already found the rules of the U.S. has more to gain by formally joining UNCLOS, including a more stable legal framework joining them, would give this more credibility. That's the plan the United States showed uh, a seed to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea Web Reservation. The advantage to is norms. Legal constraints are inevitable only ratifying unless they steal their rudder towards U.S. interests. That's key to counter piracy, but specifically drone tech. Rogers woke. Thus, the non-state actions of reasons considered by the U.S. Uh, Washington has been in reference to increasing the ability of Iraq to attack the east center of the planet in the non-state actions. Given the Virgin Islands do not pay within the cost of any maritime law, the law is the only regime the U.S. can rely on the piracy that is vital shipping routes in the Horn of Africa, the Indian Ocean, and also the Commission, in which rights are two warships and legally defined pirates, where the strongest legal footing possible in Canada, where the law's guide to legitimacy of counterparts in the Arab will make it easier to cooperate with partners. Law school also has to make the ability to shape legal authorities, especially in any interest in the tech U.S. Well, then, remote pilot vehicles they will need to change their challenges. I have to prohibit the use of the ratified lawful U.S. to put it in force as a law of the Central Tribunal. It all allows uh, to challenge it from making strain, remote tech sense, debate, will occur whether or not the U.S. is a member of the U.S. will be better serving ratified lawful and print less probable norms and remote pilot vehicles are key to solve piracy, which causes terrorism. Go for 13. The Hydra project provides low cost consequences of trying to change the situation that they near water. The new place like Somalia hijacking is almost daily. The money that requires making finance to terrorist networks and decentralized government amounts. Run into the boat U.S. and it's a flexible, rapid, and sensitive response with a minimum delay. The sensors may need to wait, sign an unsurprised month before the need to drop in the jail the Hydra to meet this need. The undersea shows has unmanned terror. Uh, so I'm an aircraft. The uh, armor tech below those can relieve the missing resource and expand the military. They increasingly challenge space and terrorism. They most likely exit with that. They will come into your WD roads then. 85 experts in the church of the pop and W tech is really, really interesting over time. They were strongly agreeing the nuclear attack is more likely than by a terrorist than by a government. They should face an existential threat. Near a nuclear test attack would almost certainly be followed by a retaliatory nuclear strike. That could initiate a new round of nuclear armament and piracy cause a massive oil spills. They will seize tankers. Milton 8. Large oil tank capacity of the Gulf of Aden has fired. A tank caused major oil spill in Hyperion since the main port of the Pacific becomes vulnerable. The tank could be set on fire. Sunk or a force to shore to cause an environmental catastrophe. And biobees keep survival single species. Can create cascading waves of ecosystem loss. Down to 94. Numbers of species could decline to the point of which ecosystems fail, and humans will become extinct. No one knows how many species the world exists, or how human life depends. And also, find ecological systems pollution control, oxygen production, sewage, treatment, biological degradation, e. Never the existence of more stable bodies, biological systems rise. The surface of the ecosystems fail. Each new extinction could cause total ecosystem loss and human extinction and piracy. Closest down the uh, maritime trade routes to decks the global economy. Bygone nine. The increase in our piracy is heightened financial because of the global with over 6.8 billion tons of goods or movies by sea alien. The global is worth 7.4 trillion dollars with up to 90% of the national trade for talent by sea at some point with pirate attacks on the coast of Africa and major impact of global shipping patterns in Europe. Large shipping economy, economy data diverted is fleet away from the Suez Canal towards the longer and more specific route and ECAS pops cause extinction at keel hulls, deterrence, and alliances. Should break and show called 8. Use from policy will be crimped. The uh, finance uh, we may be headed towards a major reduction in world, 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 world financial isolation pressures to cut the defensive are likely not the wind production will blow there or cockpit of a collapse of the world financial architecture. Russia's new military state China's rise give a cost of war concern in America. Friends could pull back the level having the entire record the same less effect of the Rupee present nation Europe and Middle East could all be risked. The third global trade ground for the new to our prioritize both the division rogue states may become Russia's with the nuclear toys and Unclos shores up anti proliferation norms. Maritime action is key. Rogers twelve. Laws will bolster bilateral multilateral commitment to counter pro pro one of the biggest threats according to the numerous analysts of efforts to strengthen the land based interdiction that efforts are increasing maritime transit reduce a dual tech to uh, critical data to WD law school will strengthen the PSI set since that part of the other countries offer a voice to the OBS comes to law school given PSI a stronger legal foundation by removing the bogus or the PSI flies in the face of ILO according to Admiral Bongart and the Euro laws are more partners, more intelligence, more protection that help protect the most serious threat removing this is case of the US diplomatic and helping uh people working in terms of wrong experts agree that Ungloss justifies counter pro measures song seven. Taft said the commission recognized numerous legal ways for action against rule of nothing in the commission appears the right of suffering and freedom. Admiral Shaki stated that the PSI must be undertaken consistent with that, including Uncle the Navy believes the Uncle Lost will greatly benefit the PSI by reinforcing the confidence of freedom and navigation in which the Navy depends for mobility. The Senator Lugar really rules would improve the introduction. Uh, uh, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, the economy convention strengthened the PSI. It was uh, Rogers in the U.S. was a freedom of the United States. The U.S. was not with the Geneva Convention, which are more restricted. The U.S. would obtain consent of reasonable evidence to provide more of a U.N. resolution in 1540, would have access to the cooperation to two confirm the introduction of the high seas and allow the only option to use the Navy could uh, 
could uh, follow sets with the best PSA, barbell and quotes after all. Oh, 18 states and PSA and then more than 70. This was more than most are part of the class. And proliferation class, extension, terror, and civility, and user-related pressures mean mad cannot contain it. Corona Day 15. These federal weapons pose a serious threat to international security in a nuclear war. Uh, terrorism, we can analyze the more nuclear weapons of greater public that we could add to strap nuclear war. The before mad new states, the last second strike, they have the nascent of you further than two attack where they prove an event of strike. We have to say, use them or lose some pressures. The leaders of the nation nuclear weapons crisis by playing briefly, which is going to increase the risk to you. Force less of their absolute debacle. Many of them have come close to future crisis. Could have been a deficit nuclear change, spread of the increase of nuclear terror. Now that card's marked a terror. Cool. Let's talk. Alright, uh, cross axe? Indeed. Alright. Cool. Alright, um, you good? Yep. Alright, why does SCS war go nuclear? Uh, a number of reasons, but the Whitner evidence and the PSI have, or PDI evidence speak to this. The Whitner evidence says... The Whitner evidence is about Korean War policy and NATO policy during the Cold War. Why does this reflect current U.S. and Chinese nuclear... Well, because the Whitner evidence is actually about the South China Sea policy and our current policy. Wait, no, no, right no, no, no. The lines you highlighted are just about the Cold War and the Korean War. The PDI First line, the U.S. challenged China's claims in the South China Sea. Increased military presence needlessly did nuclear war. It could. Yeah, that's a claim about the yes. Yes. Okay, that's okay. Whatever. That doesn't have a warrant in it. Um, the PDI <laughs> yeah, yeah. evidence. Well, because I read the first line. I read the rest of the card. There are warrants in the card. Yeah, the warrants in the card are about U.S. threatening to use nukes. During yeah, it's like the a consistent PNC track record of the United States threatening to use nuclear weapons in past conflict. That the PDI mean evidence also verifies this. Uh, oh my God. Okay, is it doesn't sound like a question. It just sounds okay, like you don't China and the U.S. suicidal or not? Uh, what was that? Are they suicidal? China and the U.S. Probably not. Okay, so the PDI <laughs> evidence just asserts that like China's gonna like nuke us if we do stuff in the South China Sea that Tillerson says we want to do. Tillerson was fired, first of all, but second of all, why would China nuke the U.S. if we did stuff in the South China Sea? Uh, well, the first thing you said is irrelevant because this argument is about China's response to Tillerson's claims, and it says that China reacted to Tillerson by saying you better says bone up on nuclear state power. state media that is run by communist hawks, which are CCP. still in power and okay. currently control the right, government. So I'd say that's the most reliable source. Yes. Okay. Uh, read me a line from any of your evidence in the South. China to see advantage that say that China would say yes if the U.S. joined on clause. like four cards on this. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Like, really it's all about like, oh, this. legitimacy, double standards, hypocrisy. Which card actually says China will like abide by the ITLOS ruling if the U.S. joins? Uh, there's a lot of lines. So towards the bottom of the Cronin evidence talks about the United States having the ability to reinforce favorable rules for the governance of the world's oceans. Uh, let me see. All right. But like none Pete of it actually says, says they're going to listen to the tribunal. That's not true. Okay, whatever. Uh, the <laughs> biodiversity impact, why does like a single oil spill on the Gulf of Aden cause like enough biodiversity loss to kill everyone? I mean, did you see like the Deepwater Horizon spill or the Exxon? Yeah, why didn't oil spills really fuck things yeah, up? Yeah, why didn't Deepwater Horizon or Exxon kill everyone? Uh, they did a whole lot of damage. And the thesis of our diner evidence is that biodiversity lies on invisible thresholds. Yeah, so we don't I know, know what, I know the, what the, the point we've crossed yet until we've crossed it. like 24 years ago and it's been empirically denied by the last 24 years of species loss. Okay, how many pirate hij hijackings have happened in the last five years? Uh, a whole lot recently. Really? <laughs> uh, there's been one in 2017 and there were zero for the four years that. before that. Yeah, which suggests you should have got evidence on 2018 because they're up since then. Okay, yeah, but it still doesn't do much. Okay, um, so Well, 2018 is the current year, so it does yeah, more than 2017 wait, no, again. But like, okay, whatever, you can read 2AC evidence. Um, uh, yeah, so sure, we which, will because we're right. <laughs> okay, which evidence... Uh, which piece of evidence says that like states are going to proliferate now, and which piece of evidence says that the PSI stops them? Uh, so those are two different questions. The proliferation argument is the Kronig evidence. Uh, the yeah, PSI. but it, Kronig just says like prolif bad. He doesn't say like states are trying to prolif now. Wait, no, that Kronig definitely says that. Like, you yeah. don't have a uniqueness argument. No, Kronig is writing about the current threat of proliferation. I as of twenty fifteen, which is so. in the context he's of proliferation. Just writing about prolif being bad for security. Uh, and as far as the other half of your question, both the Song evidence and the Rogers evidence speak to the effectiveness of the PSI. Rogers says it's necessary because we've had increased success in land-based interdiction right, efforts, so people fine. turn towards the sea. And the, I'll take prep to answer this question. The Song evidence specifically says that most other countries agree this is important, such so international legal consensus. This provides numerous bases for challenging right. proliferation. Uh, that was 10 seconds of our prep. That was five, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is it eight off? Yeah. Yeah, it's... How many off? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, it is eight. Oh my god, that's a lot of off. All right. Yeah, if you wanna, um, if you wanna like slack it to us, I can drop it into the. I can put it there, right? Um, yeah, you should be able Wait, to. Wait, uh, don't put the whole thing. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, okay, Crystal did. Okay. Apparently. Um, is it eight? Is it eight? It's gonna be there. It'll be there. I'm just. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Solomon. Matt, are you really reading Adolf? Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adolf. Yeah. Two card DAs. It's eight, eight off, then Sal trying to see the norms. Is it in the It will be once uh, I put it there. Yeah, in a second. Is it in the <laughs> what? Name, yeah, Name it. Where is... <laughs> That's true. Thanks, babe. Wait. I don't see the folder in the... It's, it's, um, P unclossed something something. Okay, it's LDPF and clossed demo round. Um, LDPF. Put it up as far as we can, right? Oh, yeah, we had oh, LDPF unclossed. There we nice. go. Nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like relatively worried about the future. The sign, the sign of Hana made for us. Oh no, another poster. All right, is it up there, Chris? Yeah, I just saw it. All right, does everyone, everyone have the dog? <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, I actually do not You don't see it? it? Uh, well, I'll probably there. just... Refresh, refresh. There, there we go. There it is. Okay, Alright. Lawrence has got it, so that means people might get it eventually. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright, just give it like two seconds for people to like All right. out or whatever. <laughs> yeah, does anyone know? I don't think anyone was ever saying that, but you know. Alright. Defend the straw man, got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, no, wait, hang on, my pen is like running out of the Would you like another pen? No. Alright, once you get a pen, I'll start. Uh, I'll start the P, I'll P No, no, we're, we're Chris, your pen's good? You right, guarded cool. Solomon. Uh, Alright, everyone ready? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. You have a timer, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I got a timer, don't worry. Alright, cool. First off, Afghan submarines bring in all the seven US submarines required to travel on the surface until their flags are sailing within territory waters. Article 20, this apply to US submarines moving with Iranian and North Korean territory waters. They be required to sail on the surface with their flags for being subscalled. All escalation, RITSO 4. Because submarines are difficult to locate, it would be hard for state to determine that it had destroyed all of adversary submarine secure seconds, right capabilities, key to nuclear turns, and crisis stability. They guarantee that a state will retaliate and can deter attack. Crisis stability is enhanced because no state has an incentive to launch first if the attack will only invite a second nuclear strike. A second strike capability <laughs> eliminates the need for staff to stop in a conflict that could lead to nuclear accidents or inadvertent escalation. Second off, text. The United States federal government should unilaterally engage in spec offs and possible deniability ability taxes against semi fixed Chinese assets in the South China Sea. It can establish more to lateral defense treaties between countries facing Chinese expansion in the South China Sea. That solves core at all 14. The U.S. benefited by aggressively defending the EEZ and the SCS. The unilateral military measure, if unanswered by China's taking of violence, will embolden China to take more territory, cripple the protection of the U.S. and enemy and any other countries into concession special operations and possible deniability of the greatest likelihood of keeping Chinese expansion from spiraling toward, towards conventional war. Unilateral special operations against Chinese assets in the South China Sea would be carried out by the U.S. It can encourage them to retreat or convene the interest of the U.S. to participate in multilateral defense alliances with China. And China's aggressive predatory state bends on territorial expansion. Afghans hold only contained and stops war and mulligan 16. China's land grab and subsequent militarization of violence spelled the myth that a rise would be peaceful. China's become a predator state. Predator states are often buoyed by an expansionist ideology that in neighboring territories or belong to the predator. National policy demonstrates that very high levels of militarization. China's claims nationalism is overtaken state ideology. China's actions in the SES clearly demonstrate that it is not as border rules based on global order. Predator states demand tough responses with vigilance, deterrence, and containment, doing nothing only invites portal propagation, which increases the risk of serious conflict. Next off, loss causes tech transfer that kills hegemony. Band 05. The new clause must be interpreted to mean that Western firms would be expected to help equipment train their competitors, authorizing some sort of mandatory system. Private companies will be able for forced to subsidize their competitors and lose control over expensive technologies. Julius Technologies with military applications might underfall, fall under ISA requirements. Extinction. Brooks 13. Deep engagement gives us leverage to... Restrained parties from progressive action, allies, alliance commits to turn states from contemplating expansion, bourgeoising research from social sciences, states have preference for tour for status, even states that are relatively secure may engage in competitive behavior. Withdrawal will lead to crisis instability, prolif and great power war. Women see proxy wars. Egypt, Japan, Ta Korea, Ta Taiwan, South Korea might create nuclear force. The U.S. will play a key role in countering China. Next off, tax. The United States federal government substantially increased subsidies or passive defense measures and armed security guards for commercial ships traveling in the Greater Horn of Africa. Substantially increased counter piracy efforts in the Greater Horn of Africa. U.S. Arctic cooperation. Oh, ne next off, U.S. Arctic cooperation is stable now. Strafka and Brigham 717. We remain on guard. Uh, U.S. and Russia signed a binding agreement in the Arctic. The IMO uh, recently approved a U.S.-Russian joint proposal for shipwriting measure. Two nations signed an agreement ban banning fishing in the Central Arctic Ocean. Uh, the Arctic Council U.S. and Russia cooperate on environmental protection. Sustainable development is a positive record of common ground, common interest, and consistent communication and engaged dialogue. The U.S. would use unclassed ratification to block out Russian access to Arctic resources and claim them for the U.S. for a law of 07. Washington is seeking the de 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 block the anticipated Russian ban, encouraging the Senate to ratify the law of the Sea Commission. Washington would resist U.S. intrusion in view the U.S. efforts to block Russia's gain as provocative. Such a policy would help the criminal justice 
justify its hard life position, it would prove Moscow's assertion that U.S. policy is driven by the desire to get access to Russia's energy resources and that causes competition for resources that create military conflict. Rule of 13. The Arctic is military significant. The U.S. and Russia relations will have profound impacts on the future of the Arctic in a competition for resources. The rule that military force could be used resolving problems. Moscow sends signals to the U.S. to respect Russian interests there. Washington has vital lessons in the region. Will the Arctic be a zone of cooperation or competition? Goes nuclear. Wallace and Staples 10. The Arctic is becoming a zone of increased military cooperation. Two nuclear states which own 95% of weapons converge on the Arctic. These claims could, if unresolved, lead to conflict escalating to nuclear weapons. No circumstance in which nuclear powers find themselves in military confrontation can be taken lightly. Next off, ratification causes nuclear and bioterror. Klein 07. As a coastal nation, the United States is particularly vulnerable to the inflation of nuclear and other materials that may be hidden in a ship cargo. Documents evidence, uh, show, show evidence planned by Al-Qaeda to use shipping cargo containers packed with sesame seeds to high, smuggle highly radi radioactive material into the U.S. This is far from an isolated example. Terrorists can also use ship lanes with explosives to be set up in key shipping lanes. Blockage of these vital checkpoints can be inca creating incalculable, incalculable devastation to world trade and participate in a worldwide economic depression. If the uh, uncle, U.S. warships are not able to stop board and even search and seize uh, vessels, if there is reasonable decision they are carrying such material on coastal the introduction of another vessel of very limited circumstances, the permitted circumstances do not include sufficient or sufficient no view. The related trade, transport of nuclear chemical or biological weapon material. No international treaty provides such authority either. Next off, text the United States federal government should give the DOD a veto authority over the U.S. ocean policy, including the plan. The U.S. The United States federal government should abide by the outcome of the consultation with the Department of Defense. Only DOD leadership in ocean policy solves freedom of navigation. Kraska 11. Freedom of the seas become a living sense with the support of rejection of American leadership and world affairs. The end of America's ability to safeguard trade routes to be enormously endangering. The DOD should have a veto on formation of all U.S. domestic and international ocean policy. Only the U.S. has national security knowledge to evaluate the strategic impact of maritime reconnaissance and proposal. The Pentagon should recover the veto authority. Over U.S. ocean policy, the only way to, the lack of strategic effective in U.S. ocean policy is to place responsibility in the senior uniform Navy official inside the National Security Council. Freedom of navigation solves all work. Kraska 11. The U.S. security is linked to freedom of the seas. 95% of all global trade passes through nine voter of maritime checkpoints. The freedom of the seas remains a single point on which American interests are more likely to come into conflict with those of others. Freedom of navigation can be an important element in national strategy. International diplomacy is a key enable of American global power. A chief plank in the conflict avoidance and war prevention. Next off, text the United States federal government should establish a new multi link conduct communications through text and receive only most of the people of Republic of China linking the U.S. National Security Council directly to the Chinese National Security Security Council to call the escalation paid 14. To limit escalation in the low-level crisis are crucial tools. Communication hotlines for announce necessary escalation based on misinformation and crisis situation. The United States and China do not have a functioning hotline conflicting interest in each day of the status of the on the American nuclear umbrella and American military presence. It is no longer a question of if conflicts will occur. It is a question of when the U.S.-China hotlines provide textual communication between the U.S. National Security Council and Chinese National Security Council. This body with consolidated authority offers a perfect opportunity for a renewed hotline overcoming the logistical and bureaucratic challenges that are probably based in the past. The war between the U.S. and Russia prevented superpower involvement and escalation. Case. South China Sea 1. The first three cards are bad. There's no war for the U.S. Are willing to go to war with SES, so then tensions are high in the first uh, in the first card. And the only other war for why it goes nuclear is NATO's Cold War policy and escalation response to a conventional Soviet attack, which is obviously not applicable. The PDI cards from an unqualified Philippines newspaper citing Chinese hog media talking about Tillerson's proposed policy, which is obviously not irrelevant because Tillerson got fired. It also doesn't have a war for why China would use nukes, they aren't suicidal. And no solvency. Another evidence says they're actually ch changing the US legitimacy due to the effort sufficient to make China listen to the tribunal or added pressure would be effective. China they already said they don't care when they lost world against which is their card and evidence. And their I lost scenario conflict impact as general doesn't have a scenario solved by millions of other provisions of international. National law the Geneva Convention and no China escalation. Keck 13. An exchange of fire is real and frightening. It's hard to imagine a possible scenario in which nuclear exchange between China and the U.S. at each stage crisis. Leaders know that if not properly contained in the U.S. Uh, nuclear war can ensue the complete destruction of a leader's country. And more frightening than losing credibility, measured retaliation would be available. And a behind the scenes diplomacy could find accessible retaliation measure. And unclosed vagueness causes SICS disputes. And China says no. Frankie 17. The United States argues that unclosed is not expressly prohibited military activities. China argues that unclosed is not expressly permits such activities. China has extended itself from dispute settlements procedures in, in the loss. It has thwarted Philippines' attempt to have China submit to arbitration. China has not agreed to any of other dispute uh, Settlement options. While the convention provides some clarity and, inconven and inconveniently leads to room for disagreement over whether the freedom of navigation patrols are permitted on China's EEZ and Africa is trying to leave a treaty makes all their impacts more likely. Valencia 14. The danger of pushing China too far on the law of the China has been under legal attack. If, uh, what if China gets fed up with the criticism of withdrawal from the treaty? China could withdraw from the treaty. There are serious political hostages that actually would create fear and instability in the region. American Asian allies need to be careful if they let put, if, unless they push China into being a rogue country that uses might. Norms. They don't have a card saying that countries will use UNCLOS to block U.S.'s DARPA, Hydra's project to counter piracy. China and others will oppose underwater drones to the U.S. putting them in a territory, not using, to fight, not using them to fight pirates. And their in trade internal link card is trash. It just says hijacking causes ships to be routed. It doesn't say status quo piracy is sufficient to collapse global trade in the entire economy. Underwater the drones also aren't feasible and cause war with China. Strauss 14. Jarvis Hydro Project, Berkowitz, they describe the project as being attached to ambitious. The idea has been around since the 30s and more likely, more likely solution is to integrate drones from land and surface ships, deploying non lethal autonomous weapons outside the US territory while it's really prerogative to China. How could China, how would China be able to react to China? Pretty similar decisions around locations where American and Chinese forces might class and no impact to piracy. Weber 16. Piracy is on the climb. Back in 2011, hijacks were a big problem, uh, but, but enterprise masters have been so effective that security firms are going out of business. The cost of global piracy in 2011 was 6.9 billion. By 2014, they figured it'd fall, but 2.2 billion and no impact. 
effect of the biodiversity saga of 97. We are on the brink of a massive extinction. It may not follow. Uh, sorry. We, 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 we need. Why, uh, why, why we need more than a tenth of the 100 million species on Earth? Cultivated systems all produce a wild system by 100 or 100 fold. Human species will not survive if 90, 99% of our creatures went extinct, provided we retain the appropriate 0.1% that we need. Biologists okay, believe the species there. are so redundant that they will uh, function perfectly well, even if every threatened organism becomes extinct. Cut the card there. Um. Turn off causes power on piracy, multiple warrants, unclosed provisions define piracy as having private ends, including politically motivated acts, sending Somali private swimming to Tantamount Grain and the NSC, the US and the European Union <laughs> prefer to arrange trial for in Kenya and the Seychelles. The transfer overlook capturing state potential obligations under unclosed to provide what? trial within their own jurisdiction, the establishment of state territorial sea within twelve nautical miles from the coast prior to operating in the vast area of Somalia's coastline is hijacked shaped with impunity and no escalation or lasso, especially with new states, Wall City seven. New nuclear states are more likely to be even more mindful of dangerous concern for the safety of weak states might move more cautiously nuclear weapons, less in intensity or frequency of war for the fear of escalation nuclear states do not want to Fight long or hard over uh, minor nuclear states, all of you have better reason the major ones to accommodate peacefully and avoid any fighting. And PSI fails multiple warrants. Valencia 07. The actors that want to avoid the PSI interdiction can still transport weapon and uh, WMD components on their own flag vessels. Security sounding PSI interdictions make it difficult to evaluate its effectiveness. PSI realized heavily on intelligence sharing. Intelligence fa failures have an all too common intelligence sharing us can train intelligible pass through different thresholds. PSI is an action independent budget or coordinating mechanism. Few of any countries that uh, export turnkey weapons of mass destruction actors can build their own weapons of mass destruction from items that have civilian applications. And turn AF causes pro. If counterproliferation measures that sea are hindered by article, uh, on clause article 92, which means a warship has to the consent of a flag state aboard a surge of foreign vessel, it is highly unlikely that Iran or North Korea will give consent of a foreign warship to board one of its vessels. Cut the card there. Cool. Wow. Yeah. But they, but they read the war app. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Did they skip the little start? Wait, did they skip it? Oh, yeah. You asked the dog. You all skipped the waltz card, right? Oh, uh, no, I spread the waltz card. Oh, you did read it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind. All right, I just cut two cards. I cut, cut Petrozo and the uh, okay. biodiversity right. defense. Okay. Four. Okay. No, good. Come on. Hey, uh. Shh. All right. Status of everything? Conditional. Okay. Can you kick planks? What? Can you kick planks? Uh, no. So you have to, okay. There aren't planks in any of the counter They're all just... That's yeah. not true. The, okay. the, okay. the, the norm's the, advantage one is planks. The sub, let's go through them. Oh, the, yeah, you're right. The, the submarine's disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, you've read... I mean, I don't, see, I don't think any connection to these cards except that they both say the word submarines. The first card says, <laughs> our submarines in coastal territorial waters that have to be like, by the way, we're here. You have yeah. an impact card that says, our subs out in the deep ocean have nukes on them, and that's good. What's the link between those two things? Our argument is that if you have to show where the subs are, then... Near coastal waters. Why, why do the subs need to be in North Korea's coastal waters if they're <laughs> armed with intercontinental ICBMs? I'm going to go with the fortune there. faster. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, the, actually, not the hegemony DA, the, the Russia DA. So your argument is right now, Russia is running roughshod over the Arctic because they're the only ones who have the ability to claim territory. Uh, and the app causes us to push back against Russia, and that's bad. Also, that cooperation is happening on the in the Arctic right now because of like environmental concerns. So then, why happening. would the app push back, in, or why would America push back in the world of the app? If we're already cooperating. Yeah, so because, because, because America will use UNCLOS to create legal legitimacy to c increase land grabs in the. But we've Arctic. already reached a peaceful agreement. If America's satisfied with that, what incentive does it have to? No, Ameri do the thing America doesn't have the legal footing to drill in the Arctic until they sign UNCLOS. That's the argument. To drill in Russia's part of the Arctic? No, to drill. There's conflicting territory claims. Like Alaska okay. and like Russia sort of like overlap. So their EZs are like, like, like there's some sort of part where. It okay, overlaps. so we can drill in Anwar already. Obviously not a problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, our, our argument is that you can't drill in the Actually, extended continental question. shelf until you sign on. You've read a hegemony DA. You know, yeah. He's a Brooks, I can bear in Wolf Heaven. It says the United States, in order to solve all global conflict, needs to have a strong presence internationally. Your solution to the Arctic is for the U.S. to run away with this tail between its legs and not challenge Russia. How is that possibly consistent with the idea that the U.S. needs to maintain its global hegemony? Like, I guess in areas where there's actual conflict and not cooperation. We like Russia in the hegemony. Arctic? Okay. Wait, our argument <laughs> is that cooperation is, is high The like, DOD's evidence is about alliance commitment yeah. and our ability Like, what alliance commitments do we have in the Arctic? So, like, when Canada just gets its shit kicked by Russia and we do nothing, uh, Canada, that's okay. Okay. Canada and Russia don't okay. actually have significant overlap. Uh, I have a question that's about it. the case <laughs> arguments. You said UNCLOS kills counter piracy efforts. Yeah. If that's true, then why isn't that already true in the status quo, given that the United States Navy already complies? With UNCLOS? We don't comply fully, like certain provisions, for example. What provision about piracy are we violating? Now? Yeah, like so, like the two ship rule is an example where, like, basically the way you define piracy and when mm -hmm. you're allowed to search ships, um, Jacob, the, the also, laws for interdiction. We also the, violate yes. the provision that says that we have to try pirates in specific states. We, in the yeah, that's the other. We send them okay, to is that a good thing? Shells? Is it a good thing to do that? Or a bad thing? What do you mean? The evidence it, says it it's, it's reduced piracy and it's been yeah, so Okay, we uh, another question. Your says... internal link to hegemony, the Bando evidence, yeah. says we'd be forced to give technology to other countries. Yeah. Uh, the part you don't read, it lists that technology is things like underwater vehicles. You have on the case said those suck and it don't matter. So what's the link? 
It's about a bunch of dual use military technology. Like, it's not just what? like underwater vehicles. It's a bunch of It's like, things to like map map the technology. ocean floor and stuff for, for submarine so advantages. We, we, we give bucket. people maps of the ocean floor and drones. The it's, drones it's, suck, it's but they can kill us. It's radar technology. It's, That's how we lose hedge. It's we'll radar technology that can be used for strategic purposes in naval okay. combat. 955, yeah. more uh, cross yeah. Okay, yeah. uh, the counter piracy, counter plan. Uh, what piece of evidence do you have that says any of these planks solve anything regarding piracy? Uh, I know that's a rhetorical question because there aren't any questions. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not. Feel they're free not. to spin it. <laughs> we, we could read some later, maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay, cool. So, <laughs> what do you think we add to the one and see? We don't have to answer this because it's not a real argument. I uh, mean, the terror. Uh, wait, no, that's a real argument. We're saying we should okay. do this thing. The terror we we DA, can you give an example of something we've done in the past that stopped a nuclear terror attack? Um, I mean, all, it, obviously, that would be classified. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? Wait. Like US. No, no, no. These are scenarios of like we attacks, catch a terrorist with a nuclear bomb, also, and you're like, we wouldn't admit to that. We can give Correct. you. Correct. That's yeah. how intelligence works. That's why we don't. Like, state isn't allowed to so, talk so about. So, like, like when we like, killed Bin Laden, and we were like, we're gonna be well, super secret and not admit that we killed Bin obviously Laden. Obviously, it's super <laughs> different to say you killed a leader of a terrorist group. The U.S. government doesn't want to freak out investors by being like, hey, there was a nuclear terrorist attack that almost succeeded. So there's just a global secret of conspiracy that terrorism's happening all the time. This is how intelligence works. We don't disclose that we stopped. This doesn't sound very intelligent to me. What evidence can you possibly provide that terrorist attacks have happened other than trust that the U.S. Is totally doing this thing. We have no well, it's evidence. Not that they have it, it's that they, they can't sh smuggle them. How the do you know it's happening? Uh, let me ask it that way. If it's impossible to verify, how do you know we're stopping this? We read a card that, that says there are uncovered documents saying okay. they're planning to do this. Which wait, wait, the, no, 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 not plans to do this. You just said this has already happened a bunch of times. When and no, where? We don't know whether or not it has already happened a bunch of times. Okay. That was our also like we read a card. Like this is also the client evidence says that they have documented plans to do it. Which clearly indicates that they are attempting to do it. Uh, we think U.S. counterterrorism. A document that asserts they want to use cargo shipping containers. So when do we actually catch them doing that? Uh, it mm -hmm. says, wait, what? When? When it's, is the document was like? So Al Qaeda also has documents saying they want to put knives on trucks and drive them places, and they want to refine nuclear material by spinning around in buckets. The Al Qaeda says all sorts okay, of shit. Like, That's not it, evidence of anything. What is it? It is actually happening according to reliable evidence that it's not literally from the mouths of Osama bin Laden himself. <laughs> There because are, literally, like, Osama bin Laden just asserted he wanted to do don't, this Don't you guys read evidence that says terrorism, nuclear terrorism, is the biggest existential yeah, threat? I yeah, really, but we have a real link to that. <laughs> I really don't think you do. do. I don't think you've read a okay, piece well, of evidence. All right, we're done. Okay, Jimmy, is, the, the, right? the doc is in the drive already. Uh, the order is a new off uh, for, for us LDers out there. Um, the SCS advantage. <laughs> The norms advantage. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> nice. Wait, Lawrence, we yeah. did this though. What? We did this. Oh, in the one MC. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um. So. Wait, just. To, oh just wait, wait. Sorry, we need a few more seconds of prep. I had one more important question to ask him about the one MC. Uh, what's a pirate's favorite letter? R? Uh, nay. Their first love be the C. <laughs> okay, uh, alright. <laughs> 10 more seconds of breath. <laughs> okay, wait. Continue, Lawrence. Um, okay. Um, so the order is a new off, the SCS advantage, the norms advantage, their non-carded counter plan, the China containment counter plan. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Can you start over? I, like, wasn't keeping track. SCS, norms... What's the, 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 the one CV? sentence, not actually a counterplan, counterplan. Uh, okay. The China <laughs> containment counterplan. Right. The China hotline counterplan, or the hotline Xi Jinping counterplan. Hotline, hotline Ping. Ping. <laughs> the the consultation counterplan. Terror. The terror DA. The submarines DA. The Russia DA. The hedge, not really a hedge DA. <laughs> Uh, where is the hotline Xi Jinping counterplan? That, that was the last counterplan, right before, or sorry, the second to last counterplan. So it's China containment, the hotline is in DOD. All right, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> if I start running out of time, you're gonna have to like tell me what you guys said. So, so okay. Um, sure thing. The doc is the doc is uploaded in our drive. Yeah. Is everyone ready? Uh, wait, I'm good. I What's just it called? Need to so prelim two AC stuff will be the most recent version of the doc. Yes. yes. Or two AC. No, no, that's the one I put in the drive. Okay. Yeah. The off is just a theory, so. Yeah. Right. <laughs> is everyone ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. Uh, I should. Okay, go.
Team's bus best fire, the status of all advocacy in the one to see prep skew cause us to lose one to see the prep answers because we don't know how to allocate to a scene for forgetting asking cross screws the Athens together instead of us sketching us make them walk the plank for deterrence. The SES advantage tensions are high tide now. Yes, there's warns even if you didn't flow the Richter says US is aggro now on the phone ups and trans island hopping more blatantly than Imperial Japan. That's never PD on winter site recent statements official NATO policy, all which point to nuclear escalation. That's false conventional great power war uh, between the two largest countries is still a titanic impact. They both deck the deck cat card, which is just a journalist asserting that he doesn't think the war can happen. Old and doesn't factor new developments, deepens his old doesn't assume Trump. They've missed the boat on Absalom channels, able to ignore I now because of US equivocation on new Clause well, A, it shows that we're not committed enough to enforce it, and B, gives them a scapegoat to point it to defect. Uh, blame the Frankies just after unique, just because it says China's running roughshod over a smaller nation. Now the plan's key to get the US to the bargaining table so we can challenge those norms. That's like half the one you see cards. They also missed three uh, other internal links. One is plan's key to maintaining navigational routes for short naval presence. That's card, and two is a key to ILO legitimacy writ large raid. US reneging shows us allies the storms on the horizon. That's both card and chrono, which says SCS is unique test case. Three, it's a only neutral mechanism that can serve the base for negotiations. That's card, and they're trying to pull out China's answer by gal evidence. I can't be offensive with them anyways, because China's already rattling its cutlass from within the treaties. Four years too old since China's proven it cares a lot about North action on climate and trade, even if it pulls out just further ice itself was only supercharged with the U.S. diplomatic leverage argument. Their velocity evidence inside this 2014 was actually from 2013. So voting issue for an evidence ethics is accurate. Representation of evidence is basic for ethical uh, academic competition. There's also an AF card. This pressure now fails because we're not part of in class but the plan solves that you should also prefer our evidence because Simmons has both empirics and theory backing. I lie on the best cap and global conflict. It raises the audience cost and creates a clear ex ante signals. So you can see we buy by in class now, which cuts against every single one of their dissents, and the plan doesn't change behavior. Norms advantage piracy outweighs the collapse of global trade by shutting down ceilings, which but decks both the economy and turns the DOD counterpoint because the swatch buckles freedom navigation econ also turns both hedge and sub DAs because our trade market show we reverse a strong econ's key to force projection is inevitable. We, uh, which we just hear in the right direction. That's Roger means returns to have unique distinct understated or link the oceans. Ninety percent of global trade and big uh, quantifies it at seven point four trillion. There's also independent terror impact. Piracy funds are funnel straight to terror groups, which turns their DA roads as the most likely existential risk. We can see drones aren't feasible or affected by the in-class, which runs their uh, runs their turn down. But uh, they visit the plans independently. Key to go we'll co-op on piracy. That's Jolly Rogers twelve. Go back to boating school. Yes, piracy up now. Amongst eighteen, a recent report that the piracy is spreading, involving attacks to the west coast of Africa. The world. report uh, noted sharp rise in ransom attacks, increasing kidnapping and ransom troubles. They uh, lead, 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 entail greater violence. Kidnaps also increase in agent East Africa. The intended capability has never gone away. We're under seeing uh, opportunities. Return piracy opportunities right now because the threat is escalating. We would look up one of the taxes a concerted organized effort. There is a broad agreement among piracy efforts and complicity has contributed to the search for all when a lack of coordination between fleets and the pirates are recently light and which have little deterrence value. Yes, there's an impact to biology. It provides this ecosystem survival like oxygen and resources that are key to human survival. They consider you air Africa as an individual threshold. We're walking the plank. We don't know how long and as any species could be the key. So in the pearl of stuff, yes, PSA work A, maritime interdiction is key because land based efforts have caused rogue states to shift in, uh, seaward. B, song sites, broad legal and political consensus. We'll concede that Unclos kills PSI. We'll also concede the Waltz evidence that Prolif deters conflict. Double turn, matey. The norms of Vanish counterplan. No counterplan is negative unless they defend the squill. Plans 89. Uh, the counterplan begs the question because the counter uh, counterplans are not responsive to the resolution. It explicitly limits the range of discussion to two way from the resolution. Sad squills all that exists in the debate commences. Where does negative fiat, if such a thing is possible, come from? Why does the negative have the right to offer and implement proposals? Fiat is not reciprocal. The negative is already benefit the fiat in the resolution. As much as the after the counterplan, there's no legitimacy value. Where arguments wouldn't be sacrificed. Only those are true arguments to reject the multi counterplan. Counterplans are a voting issue. Creates moving targets. Too many negative options. The after fishes is sufficiently covered. Constituency, maritime skew. It doesn't solve norms. Armed security guys and counter priority can't deter because they're high now. Ignores that co op is key and they don't have a card that says it's efficient. Permutation booth shields the link to all costs on case they can see Conditional, their conditional FC is one is logical policymaker. You should vote for the best possible option to reciprocity and three deters frivolous negative strategy. Uncarded counterplays are voting issue. Lack of literature based of the counterplay creates infinite unpredictable counterplays that eviscerate literature based response for the AF contradictions. Our voting issue kills two AC strategy. Offense one flows garner another kills clash education encourages lazy debate. The containment counterplay doesn't solve SCS strong mill presence in the region now proves that containment fails and only risk miscalc for escalation via conflict over island disputes. That's why you see Richard to turn obvious fails because given mass carry presence in the region, repeated signals by the military against SCS regression, which was when you see never links for enormous advantage. Flouting I loss is the only avenue for global conflict resolution, hard military power, which undermines global mores for international. Peace and security, which is when you see hate and impacted by our Simmons evidence, only half solved by short of global wars. Multiple conditionality is a voting issue. Offense against the counterplans can't ever be sufficiently AF, which causes two AC maritime skew, encourages them to be bad advocates who will always abandon ship as soon as we put a hole in the counterplan deck, which creates contradiction. Perm do both, it shields the link. Block splitting is a voting issue, excuse one air time and strategy. It's the only logical basis. The one enters a rebuttal. If their second card is true, proves containment can't stop them, and their or cards are old. No factor in new SES developments containment now, but it fails and can only cause war. Valencia 18, that's their out, that's their neg author. The US pressure on the SES is based on mis mis misperception to the conflict. The US ship from by Chinese worship matters that there are larger consequences in the future. China's responded training with the battle of the SES. The you know, US completed freedom of nav navigation, making a reference to law of the sea. Can militarization means different things to China and the US. The US policy did not have a strategic endgame short of war. The US response has not been affected. China's percent. What if the US escalates competition and the US is prepared to go to war? The next counterplan, the hotline counterplan permutation, do both shields link to the deterrence. Yeah, their paid card answer the containment counterplan. Proves hotlines de escalates independent of hard power. Also, doesn't have self escalation. Different escal to add escalatory practice. New China war plans and aggressive phone up proof hotlines can't de escalate conflict. Their card is old. Proves the counterplan can't solve and doesn't solve miscalc in the region independently escalates. Hotlines now proves they don't work. Reuters 15. The US announced agreements with China on a military hotline. 
Hawaii talks in Washington between Xi Jinping and Obama and plans solve Middle Eastern tensions. Roger 12 ratification will help deflate Iran's recent challenge to US freedom of navigation through home resource run. Has stated that the navigation did not extend the non signatory still ratifying low stock but will nullify Iran's challenges more of a low stock but provide the Navy the strongest legal footing for counting an Iranian anti access campaign. Extinction every 13 more in the Middle East state stabilizes region Pakistan. Introduce new weapons to Russia and China might also be drawn in general war since much of the world's oil come from the region. Such a war would soon cause the oil price of oil to unheard of heights with catastrophic effects. Nuclear weapons would be used in terms of better accident or miscalculation making. The world unhappy global famine would result the ultimate ecological catastrophe could destroy humanization and much of the biosphere. The DOD counterplan permutation due to counterplan either results in the plan which proves permutation due to counterplan or does in which case the AFAT ways plan ski to civil military relations to proceed as the Senate. Comply with the Navy's request for the UN plus seems are key to solve new conflicts, checks the military industrial complex and solve, reduce the risk of war and escalation because the public is empirically more diverse on war permutation due to the plan and counterplan and every other instance shields linked to the benefit consultation counterplans are a voting issue. They seal the entirety of the AF. No offense. We have to debate ourselves kind of topic education force debates on that the AF can't win counterplan flaw. Any means one means the counterplan only gives the DOD veto over one policy, which isn't the plan because they already approve independently means they get the they get the counterplan backwards. Their court says DOD approval is why we should ratify Inclaus DOD uh, approves Jag no date. Uh, the statement of the MAP is not secretary in the area. Inclaus continues to try strong support of the DOD. Our F is weaker position. The department strongly signals essential to the US. Uh, in class 2 of 2015, DOD's security strategy extra. The U.S. Uh, operates consistent with the law of the sea confession permutation to the African have the DOD block the veto the blocking of Russian access to the Arctic resources. They'll say no to fighting the Russian in the Arctic, which means it links to their DA separation of power to set counterplan undermines it by mixing legislative powers in the executive branch. All of our norms and rule of law goods evidence checks this. Their clear ex-ante rules are clear to check inventorism and ensures cooperation solves global conflict there. F specialists are SCS impact Kraska. Uh, 11 every ship trying to build these worship because media supplied over towards adventure throughout the SCS. Now the terror DA turn Cuba mobility to turn to form the convention does not prevent a war on terror maximum naval and mobility is ensured by the convention for essential for military, the convention supports our war terrorism by providing important stability, preserves the right to use the world's ocean to meet national security requirements, and may not be contingent upon approval. Stable legal regime will help guarantee mobility. A firm on face resolves. Need just means firm, firm determination. We're firm in our endorsement of UNCLOS. No link. Can't search ships now. Tap four. Myth under the convention. The U.S. will not be able to search any ship under the 1958 convention as well as no I law. No, no she has the right to search any ship, nor we want to the blanket right because under my freedom of navigation. The description of the status quo in the convention is incorrect. The convention makes no change with regard to security norms. Internally turns it key to challenging terror writ large because of the group's effectiveness, which solves acquisition in the first place. Zero ebb. Let it stop them now. Cross was embarrassing on this turn. Increase the legal authority. Conduct counter Terry Lockley 12 Fiddle, a section of interdiction. No, the U.S. contacts maritime integration with allies. All parties will rely on the bargaining of legal authority to with our ability to contest the operation by limiting any question of our right the, and ensuring that we share the same international legal authority. The subs DA, their internal link is nonsense. As pubs are key uh, to the triad, but subs are in close waters are not part of the triad. That subs just out in the middle of the ocean. Who would ever attack the U.S. just because we raised some flags on our subs? Triad is stable. Sighted subs are a tiny part of deterrence, eliminating the wind crush head structure. Capability would remain. Their link card even about second track propositional, uh, proposition conditional. If this sentence is the truth, then the United States should see the United States Convention on the Law of the Sea without reservation. If the sentence is truth, it's the uh, truth of the antecedent guarantees the truth. The consequences. Assume the antecedent is true. The true sentence would be true because the antecedent asserts the truth of the conditional. Because the conditional statement would be true, and its antecedent is also be true. The consequence would follow. Therefore, if the antecedent is true, the consequence is true, and the conditional is true because the conditional is in fact true. The antecedent is also true. Therefore, the truth of the consequence follows. The affirmative is true. No link. The plan does not modify. Our, that was in case. No link more for that. Submarines are uh, navigating on the surface while noting the obligation already bought under the 1915 Territorial Sea Convention under the 1982 obligation. No obligation. No implies and traits for international navigation. The Russia DA links makes no sense. Their impact is about U.S. encroaching on Russia territory, but UNCLOS only lets them takes claims over unclaimed Arctic waters. Obvi double turned by the Brooks 13 evidence. Now unique in turn. Rogers 12. The Russia, the US, and Arctic countries are increasing activity. Arctic countries are jacking for power and remapping the sea floor, increasing their military presence and foundation. And the Arctic must be built upon the law. They see the providing elite international legal framework. The Arctic said General uh, Jacoby before the Senate. The US cannot protect the, in the Arctic unless it ratifies. Looks like the Arctic continues to open up. Russian cannon continues to make claims. The US cannot make sovereign claims that ratifies the Treaty of Arctic Council as a consensus based form of which making decisions regarding the previous statements provided by Losak and the failure to ratify Losak. The US remains excluded from it. cooperation. The final DA, the Tech Hedge DA, the disconnect between their link and impact evidence is so bad. I kind of want to just concede this DA to see if you would vote on it, but I'll answer it anyway. Trick, transfer can't possibly collect, ha, collapse hedge back. Brooks has a military presence, high in general commitment, high neutral from transfer to total double hedge collapse, double turned by the drones, bad argument in case teams must specify which data sets are net benefits of the counterplans in the one CCX allows evasion and prevents clash. No offense there. Interp, no link in turn. Tong 17, the U.S. companies are not subject to tech transfer. Section 5 is a brutal pace to prevent transfers. You pose national security versus the U.S. The Article 302 states nothing shall be required. State party on this convention display information contrary to the central interest only through ratification of will be provided. Companies with, uh, with a competitive X without transfers. U.S. companies have much to gain from stability and predictability to avoid losing jobs. The U.S. needs to receive the U.S. to help foster a deep industry and create jobs for the emergency. emergency Industry who norms outweighs head strong, flexible, and adaptable global norms, competing to ILO is a better term to global credit stability than heads things in. It can provide minor conflicts for escalating. Go back to the Russia DA, zero chance of Arctic war. Mahoney 13, the Arctic has a new frontier, but fear in the potential conflict of the region is overblown. Says experts, the resource potential is no fears with this nonsense as well. In the Arctic, it is an extremely well regulated region. Says rules that coastal states of territorial jurisdiction 97% of resources belong to someone already actors in the region. All want stable politics and security. Okay, all right, cross. Okay, um, let me get, let me build a new doc that has all the cards that I didn't read. I need you to send all the analytics you read for theory. 
But yeah. I don't want to put it in the drive because I don't want anyone to steal our theory and analytics because I feel like that would make the email it to me. Yeah, we can just it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that. <laughs> um, I that here, I, 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 can, I can put all the theory stuff into a doc. Uh, I can seize the <laughs> yeah. Wait, I can do the theory stuff. Can you? Uh, yeah, I think so too. If you just take the document and read you can just delete the bad stuff. Yeah. Or the stuff you didn't read. Uh, well, I'm just moving it into a separate doc. Uh, the, just all the theory stuff. Oh my god, but okay. the timer's yeah. going to last in 30 minutes. Alright, think about it. Alright, that doesn't give me. Come through the. <laughs> to be fair, none of our arguments probably rise to the level of like a full org, but um, yeah. okay. not that we'll ever concede While that. While we're waiting, I have a few questions for the audience. First question, why is pirating so addictive? Wait, wait, wait. What's... Okay. Okay. Uh, Mm -hmm. Hold on, before we do pirate jokes. Okay. Uh, does anyone have questions? <laughs> I have some questions. I, I, have I had a question. Strategy <laughs> questions in the round, things that are going on, things that you don't understand, some puns that you would Ooh, like to explain. I, I can't wait until Chris is yeah. finished. Yeah. Uh, I have this question from Lords. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that reading the interp that says that they must specify which dissets or net benefits in the speech talk is uh, a good norm for debate? Uh, because they have four <laughs> conditional counterplans. All of the DAs linked to different ones, which means which ones we straight turn is net benefits of counterplan for offense in the 1AR gets predicated off of them revealing in the 1 and C which dissets or net benefits of the counterplan. It's that actually that very reasonable because you read four conditional counterplans. I also put all of the theory stuff into a new doc and sent it in Slack. Okay. Um, all right. Does anyone have other questions? Why am I not in that? First UP. <laughs> Wait, no other okay. questions? Anyone want to know what the trivialism trigger in the TPC was? Google Curry's Paradox. I didn't read the UIT system. I didn't read the UIT system. Alright. And I also didn't read... I don't know. I think the last one was... Really and really 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 I didn't read the second one. Nails can ask questions. Okay. So the answer for those of you who were waiting with bated breath was that you get hooked on it. Okay, 2 AC actual saving to our drive and has everything that I drive. What has eight legs, eight yeah. arms, and eight eyes? Eight pirates. You want me to? Or do you want to add just something else? I can do rush out. I don't make these, I just read them off. Okay, cross X, so that way it oh, yeah, solves yeah. prep time skew. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, by the way, a theory voter. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, uh, you can ask questions first if you want. Yeah. So, wait, I, I have a question. Um, so your like, first theory off is like we shouldn't punish you for like accidentally forgetting to like ask us about the condition that, that you've been set in the plan. Yeah. So then why should you punish us for accidentally typing the wrong number on the year of a card? Uh, because that you sent that that doc to us like three separate times and didn't bother to check the evidence out. Like, d we like typed the, the wrong date. number. Why does well, you could copy the date one from the actual matter if you're like just going for like we post data and a bunch of other arguments? Why does it matter? Evidence ethics matters. You can't just like be like there wasn't an impact to modifying this card because it mean, didn't like, functionally change okay, the so outcome of it. That's why just should, why can't we drop the card from the round? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm okay with that. It took like two seconds to read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> And like 30 seconds of cross X time, so it's a perfect trade off. <laughs> Just go. Yeah, time sure. You. Uh, the. Actually, I'm not going to ask about theory because I don't want to go into that. Um, <laughs> Wait, I would love to talk about our theory. Um, well, actually, I'm going to let you didn't Nails put do this it in the doc you sent me? Yeah. It's not a theory argument. Is it just a generic Curry's paradox argument? I think it's a pretty stock argument. Oh, yeah, I was confused about this. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'd like to know what this means. So if you take the, the proposition... Lawrence, why didn't you put this argument in the doc? It's analytic. Because it's analytic. Okay, explain it. It, so take the proposition, if the sentence is true, then the United States should accede to the United Nations Convention of Lawlessy without reservations. The way you would prove a conditional is true is by assuming the antecedent for the purposes of argument and then <coughs> deciding whether the consequent follows. But if that sentence is true, that also means the antecedent is true provisionally, which proves that the truth of the antecedent doesn't tell the truth of the sentence. Therefore, the sentence is true. And if the sentence is true, the antecedent is also true. And if you know if a conditional is true and if the antecedent is true, its consequent follows. The consequent is the F, so we win. 
Why can't you just do that for the neg as well? But like, yeah, no, the, 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 the F can be true and the negative yeah, the neg is true. So, like, you should not join on clause is also true. Other random thing true. Okay, so then I can just be like, the US should not join on clause. This denies the truth of the F and then apply It does not deny the truth of the F. It proves the truth of the F. No, no, but Chris's sentence can also be true. Our statement can be true. The contradiction of the statement can both be true. But if they're both true, we win. I can't tell if this is, like, logical or, like, some postmodern, like, I'm so confused. Um, the Kaufman evidence on the Russia DA, why doesn't that just prove uniqueness? Cooperation's happening now. Which, on which the, the no war argument. The Mahoney Ev? I thought it was a Kaufman card. I, um, but... I read a, I read a Kaufman card? No, you didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, shoot. It was in the document, but he didn't get to that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, the one above slow. that, my bad. I, I'm sorry I couldn't get through the whole doc. <laughs> no, the one above that. Um, didn't read sorry, the it sorry, you were at eight. If you keep going up for a while, you'll get to one Lawrence. Okay, I don't know where my doc went. The so Rhymes whatever. evidence and the Mahoney evidence were red. Mahoney yeah. evidence, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't that just say cooperation's happening now? Wait, what? It says there's no chance of a war, war. which sounds like a reason there's no impact. Because everyone's cooperating over shared resources. That is actually the, only one of the warrants in the card. Okay. Mm -hmm. What were the other warrants? It says that every it's an extremely well regulated region. It says that everyone has incentives for their re energy resources not to go to war in that region. And it says that every every expert on the area has concluded that the fear of potential conflict in the region is. And it says that ninety seven percent of resources are already owned. So there's no point in fighting over and causing a global nuclear war over the remaining three. Like that we already work. have Anwar. We don't need whatever the hell is sitting in the North Pole. Yep. All right. Uh, Prep starting. Okay. Oh, we got here. Uh, I think, I think they're gone. Did you say that's documented? Uh, the theory of the Yeah, I agree. Yes. That's actually uh, a good Yeah, 2AC theory. Um, where did that go? Oh, you did it. Oh, here we go. That's, that's right. right. Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can just tear stuff. Give me, like, words with the theories in this file. Worth? Or how many words? What am I going for besides? Sorry, how many words are in this file? I don't know. It's not telling me. Let me open it up. I'm just curious now. It, it is 250 words. That means it is close to like 45 to seconds. I've passed my responsibility for that. If y'all have questions, okay. So, is there any? Are there any other overarching questions about the explanation of the trivialism argument? Do you have Sure. So, um, yeah. I only partially but it's not a theory it, but Curry's yeah. paradox says Sorry, that uh, if, it's not really um, if, if we take a conditional it's, it's statement, it's in the, the, the doc that's called, like, 2 is actual, everything I've read. Yeah. And, and which uh, one? Yeah, the cloud table. Or, no, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 no, I think I'm going to scroll down. Uh, yeah. Uh, and but away, if that is the well, case, um, it can be proven true. Blocks, the entire blocks, uh, conditional be, is true. Uh, and if that is the case, then the exceed and the prior part are true. Thus, the that, consequent yeah. must follow. So uh, the F is true. Um, the argument we can, we can almost yeah. we can provisionally approve almost everything, yeah. which means so, all sentences. Yeah, so trivialism, trivialism says every sentence is true. Um, that's the reason the cross X question about like what about the sentence the neg is right doesn't yeah. matter. Um, because, uh, the sentence that negative right is also be true, all the time text is all true. Everything is theoretically true. Everything theoretically is true. Trivialism breaks ethics, but... Nibs and 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 all, also means all we substantively defended our app. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it also means all the I also did not read more than 10 like, words. <laughs> like, I capped out at 8. It's like, it's <laughs> I think I started just running out. <laughs> I was like, I feel like the response that one should take towards trivialism is just a strong intuition argument. Which says every Russia, sentence is not true. Like the sentence, the Holocaust is good, is not true. Um, therefore, if there's a strong intuitive, like, disadvantage to trivialism, um, it proves that there is some logical flaw somewhere in there. Yeah. The fact that we can provisionally see a model. Yeah. Firm, Dougie, Russia. There's a couple of really nice things in there. I just like made sure to like not inflect at all, just so I can get through as much of it as possible and see how much I can hide. Are there any questions about the substance of like the actual arguments versus crazy? 
That's an actual argument. Which which one? Yeah. The, whatever the hell <laughs> that stuff I didn't understand. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> huh? Which triggers because I feel like there's that. The trivialism argument triggers skepticism. That's correct. Oh, it triggers like reverse skepticism. Well, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Both skepticism and reverse skepticism. In which all moral claims are true, but morality like probably doesn't cards. exist. What? Also, morality does exist. My yeah, goodness. Does exist We're doing more prep than we are. True claims. <laughs> Why did you cut so many cards? You know, we just cut all of our cards from inclassdebate.org. I'm cutting cards like now. <laughs> Wait, are you? I actually just don't have like. I don't know. Crap. Oh my goodness. Uh, Does anyone have any questions about the theoretical objections in the two AC? There were quite a few. How many LDs do understand? Who's who's LD here? One. Cool four people. Yeah, it's it's a, the docs are online, more. so like yeah. you can just follow the docs. Wow, it's pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was very I was very <laughs> unclear. <laughs> but I was just like, I gotta get through this doc. It was very clear. Yeah, Matt's spreading was very, very good. Agreed. Wait, what's the what was the argument about a firm on face on the terrorist uh resolve side? means firm determination we're firm in our endorsement of in class affirm <laughs> that's all we affirm we're firm in our negation chris it's fine <laughs> <laughs> the, the argument that doesn't just reference yeah. is known as the resolve a priori <laughs> <laughs> that's the argument that doesn't just reference the resolution trivially true <laughs> not non trivial they can just prove they that we were not really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think we were quite like, If they had good evidence that like yeah. Lawrence and I hated M class, that would turn it. Yeah. But yeah. honestly, yeah. in the or day or so we've done PF prep, I'm kinda convinced the app is right. No, we just believed in theory more than M class. <laughs> I'm a strong believer in every interp the two AC read. <laughs> That's so a little bit. <laughs> we're uh, splitting the block bed. Does anyone have yeah. any thoughts about splitting the block oh, as yeah, bad? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the prior question to that is uh, how many of you, whether that be in PF or LD, uh, functionally understand what it means to split the block? Oh, well, yeah. better than that. How many of you know what the block <laughs> is? <laughs> okay, so what is the block? Yeah, the neg has back to back speeches. So if one is to split the block, what does that mean? Chris and I are talking about it. Yeah. Alright. Nice. I thought it was a pretty solid choice. Nice. Not my best, but pretty solid. You got through everything I wanted to get through. Yay! I only dropped like three cards on the dock, maybe four. One in R and the two in C. I can definitely go speech. Well, whatever whatever Matt's got the cards on over there, I don't think that's what I'm going for. Yeah. Whatever, what? whatever you're cutting cards on, I assume that's just going to be what you go for. If anyone saw the previous college policy debate, the two and no, it just means I had one job and I, I just didn't do it <laughs> until now. Let me fair enough. The case debate plus the ontology arguments that two and C didn't get to, which made the one error quite difficult because instead of repeating a bunch of stuff, there was many, 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 many things that the one error had to do. What is the strategic value of splitting the block? Yeah. Was the like we turn it because of the second advantage? So you cover more arguments. Uh, that's definitely that you mean the pirate. Yes. yes. So the norms, uh, why, norms is the first advantage. Why is that strategically uh, valuable going into the one AR? I, I made that on a case study. Right. It basically means that the one AR. A five minute speech, and then what was the conditionality on the uncarded Six. advantage? Uh, okay. plan? Yes. So conditionality, <laughs> multiple conditionalities of voting issue offense against advantage. counter plans can't be sufficient for the AF to win, okay. which causes 2 AC maritime okay. skew. Just like condo bad. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, multiple condo bad. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yes. Chris, what else should I go for it? That was before, like, I think I'm good on camera. I'll show you. Uh, I think the Terra D answers are actually pretty solid. Oh, I should, I should be on this. Do not do this. Yeah, but this card doesn't say anything new that the other cards doesn't say. Does it say where they'll be excited to say? Um, if you have time, but like, I think this Turner 4 card, the Tap 4 card, and the Lion 4 card are pretty solid. This one's just like, he's a Terra Jeff Jake, and it's like, Davey loves to be able to move. 
um, mobilize for the hot spot. Second card's like, second card's like, no one, we can't search now, yeah. which, like, the crisis uh, already that you made, because we're already constrained by 1958, or by 1958 conventions, plus we don't do it now, because we respect freedom of navigation rights too much to, like, do that. Plus we co-op with other, uh, plus we co-op with other countries, that helps, and then the lock, oh, sorry, the lock clear evidence is, like, we co-op with other countries now, and, like, they are a region that doesn't care to hinder, so empirically not hinder them, and we like it because it gives us a legal basis to conduct anti-terror operations anyways. <laughs> yeah. Any other Can I still go for the Valencia? <laughs> <laughs> you agreed to drop it. <laughs> Unless, of course, you would like that argument to make it in the 1AR. Nah. I'm, I'm not about there. to lose no, on yeah, that. Yeah, you always split the block. Why is it, can't you I read the wrong game. Not I'm just going to say oh, the Valencia 14 why evidence why answered that. How do you make like a. Wait, Kathy, would you like to see the Tracy theory? Oh my god. But they were sprinkled in between. So I like I didn't catch most of them. Yeah. <laughs> I read all of them, not in one location. Uh, no, you like oh, random places. Covered throughout the, the DAs. <laughs> oh, one of them was on a DA. That's correct. <laughs> make them walk the plank for the turf. Yeah, I came up with that one. That was a good arc. I liked it a lot. That was me. That was nails, I think. Yeah. Which one? Maritime school. Yeah. Oh, my my favorite one was go back to boating school, which was on a card. Uh, that was on their one uncarded advantage kind of plan. No, but what's the what? What's the C Oh, there's not a there's not a C pun in a lot of these because I there's actually just real theory arcs I tossed out there. But it's true that uncarded advantage are just a change. One sentence can be lines without a C. It encourages them to be bad advocates who always abandon. Yeah, that, I, I, I that was that was me. That, that was me. I came up with abandon ship for condo. Block splitting is a voting yeah. issue, and then you're giving them people that I'm splitting the block. Come on. <laughs> Only logical basis, why don't I have a bottle? <laughs> Uh, I'll show you the full TOC lock later. But, but yeah. That's it's incredible. Also, I think you're really good. So is the result of the show. What is this TOC? I wouldn't mind. I would have I would have drawn. Well, if you're making goals. I was like kind of happy about the TOC in just terms of the sheer not. Because Curry's paradox was also in here, and so is the result paradox. Wow. The result of our prayers. That was the result. Yeah. I want to be a 2 We yeah. substantively defended our ass. Yeah. Because you have to break it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Sure. Well, I, I probably don't want to debate it. Yeah. Um, you all can take more prep time because there's a demo round, so it's like, yeah. yeah. Sure. Also, like, if we want to have a good round, oh, no. I don't have these ones. Yeah, fair enough. It's really not that different than Well, it's deep to double two against these folks, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the 2A in this debate is significantly easier than the 1A in this debate, I think. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, if the block does its thing, right? It'll be. Wait, what's the 2A? Yeah, 2A is about to happen. 2A is about to happen. Yeah, but I, I just basically I was like, I don't want to give the 1A argument. Is this going on YouTube? Uh, it might. We haven't decided. Uh, Depends on how bad Chris and I get destroyed, and then we'll decide. Actually, no, it will be worse than the last one. That one did go on YouTube. No, no, so you all did way better. <laughs> yeah. There it is on YouTube. You shouldn't watch it. This one will be better. This one's better, I promise. Early because I'm going to Disney tomorrow. I don't remember. Um, probably on Victory Boost. Yeah, you can find it. If you want, I can like we can slack you the two AC doc as long as the kids don't get it because I don't want them to steal our, our bad. I think I got everything. It's just that like I don't have anything typed, so like. Yeah, okay. Just try your best. Like, I don't mind sending you all the Tracy Doc. I just don't want any of the kids to have the bad arguments that we had. Like, should not, they should not. I, I already felt bad enough putting the Plants 89 card in the doc. <laughs> Oh, can, oh, oh, I got it. So I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, they're difficult. Chris, do we have to try? That's a pretty solid. Uh, uh, can I cut it back? Because it's the answer to the Like, the other thing is, yeah. like, the reason it's in a front Funnily enough, the front page magazine article, it doesn't have to get republished on a blog. It's like, it's all over the place. <laughs> That's why, like, all the, like, testimonies before Congress were like, yeah, no one thinks this is the case because the Navy abides by it now. Which is like, oh, I think I, I made the accept argument at the bottom of that advantage, which is like, now you need to the Navy. Um, so, like, you 
Where did that card go? Why did you delete it? I think you're well over shot the folds can help the crowd. By a lot. By a lot. Like ridiculous. I'll let you hear, I would agree, I would argue that the to the point where we just make I would still be happy with like maybe like a longer block speech, but not as like obviously not as special. And then no um cross exactly. Are you guys seeing the double turn? Oh, the good news is I didn't really get all this, so they dropped this card. It says, it says, uh, yeah, they had, and so they had obviously we don't transfer because, like, we got M that says that. But it actually is crucial to keeping the U.S. competitive in markets that are crucial to all their internal links, such as uh, the deep sea mining industries as well as tech industries, because they're afraid of committing because we haven't ratified Inclos because it guarantees a stable and predictable framework. Yeah, so it's like ratification Inclos provides companies with like competitive edge because they they keep on moving to like the U.K. because they're afraid that of U.S. instability and inability to ratify Inclos. They want the stability and the predictability of the framework of Inclos to, like, do, like, sea-based operations um, and to, like, work on, uh, it's just the bottom of the choice he had to hedge DA. So they dropped that. We've conceded the hedge impact. We've conceded the hedge impact. Yeah, I read really this Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. It's right after you take it. Like, the war is it super good, but, like, if they drop it, they drop it. Like, it's labeled as no way so it's like predictability Yeah, so there are just like if we transfer tech now that undermines US uh, US competitiveness, but actually the joining E plus gains us more tech because we can have more competitive markets. Because uh, their internal link is like or their internal link is just like tech transfers give other states a competitive edge over us, but it's like no, this actually is key to get us a competitive edge. So turns are hard. Okay, well that's the problem. I don't think it's that great, but I think I think it's got to work because they've said tech transfers get hit. So I've spotted that. Well, I didn't and spot it. Out, if it's an Ecuador or generally, our impact is, oh, it is, yeah. is a hedge impact. It is a hedge impact. Agreed. It's like a pretty good wire trick. Right. I'm ready with you, Chris. Can I get to this in six minutes? I think. Um, also, the China containment stuff, this card is explicitly phrased as offense for the AF independent of the Cal plan because it says that um, that we're currently on a, on a path towards containment and that will result in war. It's like a bolster to our advantage. Um, so if they kick out of this, this card's just like devastating. Yep. <laughs> also, I think there's a big tension between the hotline G and the counterplay and the counterplay. One's like, yeah, China's nice, let's just call them up. And the other one is like, well, yeah, that's China's first, an evil. First thing, with their paid cards, answers the containment, counterplay, proofs, hotline, and DS weight, independent of hard power. Like, yeah. So, it was just dumped in the burn block. <laughs> Naturally. I mean, like, four conditional counterplays, I think, justifies the action. Um, I don't think anyone's going to contest us on this. <laughs> At least not in this room. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should be prepping. <laughs> I did not get through the whole space you got. I limited myself. <laughs> Although I did, I was unclear for a lot of the tweets. I know, I, I thought you were clear. Um, well, I just ran out of water. My mouth just dried up in the middle of my hands. But I, I thought, like, coverage was pretty solid. Yeah. Also, I feel like the block can just say that, like, half these theories have no warrant and they move on, which they should. They should not take warrant. What should we say? Uh, you, should group, you should group the ones that don't have a warrant. So, for example, one of the theory arguments literally goes, like, good effort for reciprocity and then, like, stops. That's, like, not an argument. You should literally go, these are not arguments. Okay, so you hear that? All the ones that don't have a warrant. Like, these are not actual arguments. I would answer, like, some of these theory objections, I would literally just make the thumbs down motion in the new volume. Like, especially the ones that do not have warrants. So, can I see them? Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. I didn't look yeah. at the new one. This is not a war. 3v2 person. They don't have another crewmate. Wait, do you have a war? 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 Yes, I am. I feel half guilty. What are the counterparts? Um, Terror and Case. What is it? Terror SCS. I haven't put it in yet. Uh, if we norms, go for it, do you have any Patrick? Oh, that's like, that would be well. Yeah. Yeah. I never did either. I agree. Hey, I want a cookie. Ice, 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 <laughs> what? Yeah, I think Chris is uh, it is. We we have crossed into the the 18 minute on mark on prep. I think. 18 minutes for prep. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's both combined now. <laughs> Yeah, about, you know, about the oh, it's college, yeah. I, I have to go to Disney tomorrow. I want to sleep. You going to Disney tomorrow? Yeah. Nice. Who else is going? Me and Maya, or me, Maya Shaw, not one of them. I was going to say, Maya didn't tell me she was going to Disneyland. I want to sleep. I still haven't planned how I'm getting to Disney yet. I need to do that tonight. Where now? Disney tomorrow. Are you serious? Is it, Lawrence, is it a thing for the one and R to flow? I'm the wrong race, but I'll take the compliment. Is it a You're thing for the one and R to flow? You're only giving one more speech, so all the arguments you should be concerned around now are what's on the two page and not be And I already did that, so I'm not going to. You're good. Okay, I'm okay. chilling. You had a lot of prep time, so. Should be good on the chair DA. Alright, I guess they're going for the chair DA. I just assume you have a lot of cards on the tarot DA, is that thing, right? Yeah, I spent like five minutes cutting new cards. Okay. <laughs> and, then, and then three minutes compiling the doc. And then the last ten minutes waiting for Chris to answer theory. Because I'm useless on that. I feel like I feel like our terror. Terrifying. Who knows? Um, Can I get is negative prep an answer? Probably. Uh, Alright, uh, okay. So, let's see. I'm excited. I'm on the LD Okay, um, so let's see. The order, uh, it's going to. God, this is going to be a lot. So, okay. It's just going to start with, like, a dump of theory at the top. Okay. Not, like, dealing with the stuff they said, just, like, offense, like. Yeah, okay. okay it's basically just like long theory overview. Well, not that long. Time. Okay, well, yeah, it's just gonna go flow by flow because, like, I don't have it written on my computer. So, okay, order. It's like a bunch of theory, then the, like, spec, te uh, spec conditional, whatever in the 1NC, um, then the hotlines counter plan, um, the DoD counter plan. <laughs> The containment counter plan. Wait, uh, you're gonna have to go a little bit slower. Okay. okay. Uh, theory, the hotline counter plan, the yeah. DOD counter plan. Containment counter plan. Wait, no, DOD counter plan. Yeah. Um. Okay, so hotline counter plan, DOD counter plan, containment counter plan, uh, submarines disad, hedge disad, 
Uh, the advantage counter plan with no card on it. Um, then it will be the Russia disad, and then the norms advantage. So, like, the only pages that are not going to be in this speech are the terror disad and the South China Sea. Okay, page. can you repeat that one yes, more time for me? <laughs> okay. So, theory, theory, uh, the spec violation, okay. hotlines, okay. DOD, containment, okay. submarines, okay. hedge, okay. Uh, piracy advantage counter plan, okay. Russia DA, norms. Okay, cool. Okay. Is the doc up? Uh, yeah, there will be a speech doc. I don't know how much I'm going to get through, but I'll put it in the drive anyway. Just because this round would have been fun. But no, it's just a mess. And, oh, and the other note is, like, I'm not going to be answering, like, all the theory violations at like the very top, it's just gonna go page by page because like they put different theory violations on different pages and I have all of my responses flowed there. So like, if you have like, yeah. Does that make sense? So It's going on the flow. I know, I know. I mean, that's because they just like made it the entire flow a gigantic mess. All right. We could have had a fun, we could have had a fun test this debate. All right. I would just like to point out that eight of the eleven sheets are theirs. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not wrong. We did. <laughs> we we have read more He's... cards on substance so far this debate than you all have. I mean, that, wait, that's because that you gave an extra. Like that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Chris is dead. Okay. All right. I'm so ready for this speech. <laughs> Oh, is there a document? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Uh, it's already on the deck. I see it. <laughs> got this <laughs> All right. So everyone, everyone is ready? Oh, there's so also the Russia DA. All right. Oh, God, this is going to be a mess. I don't want to do it. Hey, hey, listen up, listen up. Okay, okay, right, you, want, right, right, you won't start if you guys keep talking, so it's not going to... Okay. <laughs> Aaron Nagar and all theory of your arguments were PF arguments who have no experience dealing with theory in the round. They did all the for fears and had two college policy. Fuck all of their theory arguments. <laughs> <laughs> Topic education, which is the whole point of a fucking policy demo, drop the argument. Don't have a warrant for drop the tape on anything except for the spec shell. The fairness is not a voter. It's a demo round with no elims. Education outweighs fairness. It takes years, and we don't we don't care if a round was fair in a few years. But education is portable. It's the only impact that matters. Which is why topic education outweighs nibs or a voter. Their non receptacle makes it impossible to be apt because this uh, speech took like forever to prep, and it's impossible to flow blippy arguments when they're on every different sheet. There's no warrants on any of these arguments, so you should not let them expand on them in the one AR. Go to the spec argument. CX checks. It could have taken three seconds. It did take three seconds. They were all conditional, and you knew they were all going to be conditional. Counter interpretation is you should let us choose because if we can choose a cross sex, then just keep the neck flexibility, which is probably good for fairness. If fairness matters, otherwise, this violation doesn't matter. The hotline's counter plan, we're not going for it. There's no internal link to the Middle East argument because they don't have a card saying that the unclaw solves Middle Eastern war. They don't have a scenario for why the war starts. They just say it like stops Iran in those straight up home routes, which isn't an internal link to war. The war impact is totally disconnected from it. We will concede the word is evidence that hotlines exist now. It takes out the South China Sea advantage because it means that we already have a hotline that's solving escalation in the status quo. We'll concede from both. We're not going for it. Plan. We're also not going for it. Concede the permutation. Consult counter plans are not a voting issue. They cause you to be in depth education about specific agencies, which is better than generic USFG. It causes critical thinking, causes forces the two AC to come up with the analytics, which is what Lawrence did, and it's better for education because we learn about specific agencies. Fairness isn't a voter. Containment counter plan. We're also not going for it. Conditionality is not a voter. It's key to neck flexibility. We need to be able to test the app for multiple angles, which is also a reason that it conditionality is good because it lets us test the app logic. The SAS quo should always be an option. Policy makers consider different arguments at once. There's no TAC skew. There's no warrant for any of these arguments, and there's no warrant for this particular argument. Oh, the block splitting stuff. No, nor say that the block is not split. The one error is possible if proven by NDT like Natalie Naz who can do a one error really slow and still win all the rounds. It's a performative contradiction because you block split in all of your previous seven rounds. Fuck off. There is no internal link on the submarines. This we're not going for it. None of these turns matter. Uh, they say propositional statement. This doesn't make any sense. If it is true that the app is, or if this statement is true, the neg is correct and the app is false. Just proves that this makes every debate irresolvable, which is an independent voting issue. Should reject this argument, but it's not drop the argument. It's just a reason to get rid of this stupid argument. There we had just I will concede there's no internal like that was an argument in crosser and I'm pretty sure in the 2AC I just didn't flow because with the blippy analytic um, the spec disads on all the counter plans no CX checks and there were three advantage counter plans obviously the disads were net benefits to all those counter plans and the DOD counter plan obviously did not uh, the, the, there were no disads that were net benefits to the DOD counter plan okay the advantage counter plan 
They say no counter plans. This is ridiculous. Reciprocity. The U and the app has to be up and the next should have to be It's also better for education because we compare different policy options, which is what actual policymakers do. They compare different options at once. That was on the conditionality argument. It's also good for education because they get to learn about new arguments that like the hotline's counter plan or the containment counter plan or this counter plan, which I'll read a card for on the case flow when I get to the uh, this thing. They say uh, multi plan counter plans are a voting issue. This doesn't make any sense. It's key to check back new assets they sent us to us one day, even though they had it finished a few days later, and we already had done all of our prep for the demo round, and we didn't have time we needed to do additional prep today. Multi plan counter plans are not a voting issue because in the cross ex we specifically said that we were not going to kick individual planks, so none of this fairness argument matters. They say uh, uncarded counter plans are a voting issue. The lit based stuff will read a card. Uh, it's also key to neg creativity because we can read like news super specific advantage kind of plans to solve their app. They say uh, contradictions are a voting issue. There's no link we didn't contradict ourselves. The 2 uh, contradictions are also fine because they force the 2 to do critical thinking to not contradict themselves, which Lawrence didn't do in the 2 and it's cute to Netflix that was on conditionality. Okay, the advantage kind of plan power. The counter plan solves a whole advantage. The Lucas evidence, which I'll read on their case, says passive defense measures, private security guards, and U.S. naval counter piracy will all empirically effective in collapsing the Somali pirate model and put a complete end to hijacking. This is in the space of three years. Their drones internal link has no empirics backing it up. Okay, Russia. Okay. <laughs> the dishonor ways in terms case uh, status quo is stable, but cautious artists, cooperation, and unilaterally claiming resources through unclassed mess, hardliners in the Russian cause escalating resource competition that goes nuclear. That's all. Last three cards of the it happens faster because it's based on Moscow's perceptions of U.S. intentions, which only our furlough evidence speaks to. That matters because extinction only happens most fast. Impacts can be solved by intervening actors. It means the DA turns the case before the case turns the DA. It's only it's the only conflict that causes extinction. Small nuclear conflicts aren't sufficient. Boston too. A much greater existential risk of with nuclear arsenals in the U.S. and USSR. All out nuclear war would annihilate our species and permanently destroy human civilization. Civilization in Russia and the U.S. retain large nuclear arsenals that can be used for future confrontation, either accidentally or deliberately. A small nuclear exchange between India and Pakistan, for instance, is not an existential risk. So would do not not destroy or thwart humanity's potential permanently. It turns the case multilateral cooperation and norms are impossible in a world of great power over natural resources, horizontal escalation, and alliance commitments. These are impacts splits the international system in half between the U.S. and Western allies and BRICS countries. Second, Chinese perception: the U.S. is willing to go over to war over resource access, heightened tensions in natural gas rich SES because the chair and scares China into thinking it might be the next target independently. Uh, I'm not going to read that out on. Okay, the uh, the. They say no Arctic war. Yes, where the use of our evidence says Russia beats the Arctic is critical of their national interests is willing to go to war. The great power competition causes inadvertent escalation. There's also more evidence of the military buildup from secure in territory for drilling causes miscalc escalation. Air India 12, the potential for U.S. Russian conflict in the jet region is genuine opportunity, capability, perceived intent, increasing anxiety. All that remains for a benign event to escalate as a sufficient motive of misunderstanding. Oh crap, my draw is going the wrong way. Russia's critical reliance on hydro hydro resources to maintain its political and economic stability when national security is challenged become a potential for military conflict can quickly become an actual conflict. Lack of resolution, bad business creates a wild west of uncertainty, increasing economic opportunities go hand in hand with increased presence in the region, creating an environment for potential conflict, triggering build up in military and law enforcement capability. Uh, let's see, okay, the link debate. They say, like, the AF is good for Russia. No, it isn't. The furlough evidence says U.S. would use Russia to kick, young class to kick Russia out of the Arctic and take their resources. Even if the evidence says U.S. wouldn't kick them out, it's a perception trick because our evidence says Russian officials perceive U.S. ratification as the first step to kick out only uh, stable cooperation as the status quo. Here's more evidence ratification. is a pretext for the U.S. to increase military forces in Kodesh 14. If the U.S. Senate ratifies the convention on the law, see the U.S. intends to apply the convention only when it coincides with its natural interest. If the convention was ratified, the U.S. could appeal to the right to transit and territorial waters and the convention as grants for legal military presence in the U.S. It could exercise the right to Self-determination challenging what is meant by military activities in particular. Uh, okay, the North's advantage. The internal link to the uh, piracy argument is trash. The cross evidence was dropped as uh, experts say that DARPA's hydro drone program, which is their evidence, isn't feasible and would just be above water and cause war with China because China would see it as provocative. Here's another card saying it causes war with China. Burke 13 deploying non lethal autonomous weapons is provocative to China. If we challenge China into head tech officers on the ocean floor, it's not clear who will prevail. The clandestine operation of drones, I see threatens to involve the US in wars it should not be fighting in, is a foreign mission creep. It's only a matter of time before the actors the US yep, disagree with have access to drones. Uh, Article 20 bans underwater drones. UN, no date. Article 20 in the territorial sea, submarines, and other underwater vehicles are required to navigate on the surface and show their flag. There is no impact to biodiversity. Our, our impact defense is way better. A single oil spill in Africa isn't going to tip us over an invisible threshold and kill everyone. It's disproven by deep water horizon and Exxon Mobil. We can survive with only 0.1% of existing species. There are tons of redundant species that stop extinction. That's take off. There's no impact to piracy. The Weaver evidence has status quo counter piracy. is so effective. Private security firms are going out of business. The cost of global economy is in only $2 billion, which is nothing. It doesn't trigger their econ or trade impacts. The year, evidence saying the threat is returning doesn't. It, it, it just means renewed counter piracy is inevitable and the advantage counter plan solves. Here is the card that I was talking about on the advantage counter player. There's no uniqueness or impact. This card ends the debate is better than all their evidence. Also answers the internal link to terrorism. Lucas 17. 
Privacy is declining, success rate is more merchants, so if you gain implementing passive defense measures, climbing on board became increasingly different, while 2011 shipping companies have be, begun to uh, private, uh, 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 private armed pri anti-piracy guards on board their ship, no ship with armed guards have been hijacked, the patches helped precipitate the collapse of the Somali pirate model, there were no successful hijackings in 2014, the client privacy was hastened by prosecution, political changes within Somalia also contributed, the near complete absence of Somali pirate attacks in 2012 was not led to the disappearance of counter-piracy measures, there is no indication these measures will be done away with, while piracy might be largely gone, counter-piracy is here to stay over the past two decades, the United States was 20 other states have deployed dozens of warships and spent billions of dollars to suppress piracy. There is no evidence of substantial links between pirates and terrorists in Somalia. The fear provided a compelling incentive for American policymakers. The AF also kills kind of piracy, which I think they just conceded. The Kelly evidence is super good, says unclosed laws. Pirates to operate within impunity within 12 miles of the coastline doesn't include politically motivated piracy in the definition and requires sending them back into countries with collapsed legal systems for prosecution. They, uh, it's all, it, it, is, it is unique because the U.S. does what it wants in the status quo and prosecutes in Kenya stations, which is illegal once we join unclosed. The 12 mile rule means the stops. The, uh, actually, I'm going to skip that card. Uh, okay, so the Prolo stuff. Where is it? Okay. There is no impact to Prolo for 1 and C. Walt 7 says small states are so scared of nuclear retaliation. Prolo makes them more likely to back down and not escalate. There's such a high cost to screwing up that they don't want to roll the dice. It's not a double turn because there's no uniqueness for states proliferating now. There's no conventional war in the status quo with those states that do not have proliferation. And Waltz is just saying new nuclear states won't use their nukes. It's not an impact turn saying Prolo is good. Nuclear uh, materials won't spread the lack of incentive in inaccessible fissile material, CAC 13. This spread of nuclear weapons has always been surprisingly slow. There's been an undeniable decline in the number of states interested in acquiring nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons have served one purpose to deter others, but Today, if you say if you face fundamental external threats, given the high cost of a nuclear arsenal, it makes a little sense to acquire nuclear weapons. Fund is grossly overstate. The number of states who are technically capable of building and the global availability of fissile material has been declining. There is no impending nuclear domino about to fall. Are you? Well, I was about to ask the first question. We didn't read it. Are these crossed? Are they crossed? Yeah, different. Oh, yo. Do you want me to read more stuff? I can, like, I can read more stuff. I just need to extend the, like, PSI. Yeah, I got you. I should be at the top of the line. I have the theory. It's already written. Okay, good. Because you forgot to make that argument. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Okay. Um, um, we're going to do cross X and then let you all go back to your room and then the one in our will happen. For okay, cool. okay. And then you all can come back and we'll still be debating, I guess. I'll use that time. What? To I'm not, I'm like, I finished prep, it's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go pee Wait, after. <laughs> During the prep for his speech. Oh, <laughs> yeah. works. Okay. Can you explain how there's no double turn because there's no unique uniqueness for prolif? How does that answer the argument that you said you increase prolif and the Waltz evidence says like prolif good deters conflict? Well, okay, so Waltz doesn't say prolif is good. He just says it, that it actually is pretty yeah, explicit. Quote, card says that. states won't use their weapons. Quote, nuclear weapons, weapons lessen weapons. the intensity as well as the frequency of war. For fear of escalation, nuclear states do not want to fight long or hard. <laughs> it's yeah, like it's literally the, the nukes topic the deterrence is... card. What? It's literally the new topic to turn card. We actually cut, cut I cut. It's yeah. literally got my initials. Yeah, the, yeah, the, I know the point of the point, okay, two arguments. First is that if states don't proliferate now, they won't proliferate afterwards. But you made an argument that AF no, 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 no. Okay. That's we read it for us. Okay. You yeah. said okay. no proliferate, proliferate. now, AF Hang causes pro. This is like DA 101. Okay. okay, yeah. The Keck evidence says no one will ever proliferate, which I just read at the bottom of the one or two MC. So you just other read thing, other thing that's kind of important is that the Waltz evidence is like answering Kronig's argument about like nuclear states screwing up, MAD being unstable. I don't think that there's. So you like think a, it's okay to read impact defense no, to, in, to I, a double trend? Okay, so the. Okay. Wait, Lawrence, Lawrence. Also, there's no conventional war in the status quo that would suddenly, like, disappear if, like, Iran got a nuclear weapon. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so that was not in the speech. Now, the Arctic DA... That was the DA, argument when I said no conventional the, war in the status quo. The Arctic DA? Yeah. Which card from, like, the last three years says that Russia perceives uh, us ratifying in as precursor to military presence? Because you've got a card that's, like, the U.S. might move military presence into some regions that are not specified in the Arctic, and your other link card is from 2007. Which card is, like... From the last couple of years. Uh, I mean, obviously, none of them. Does that matter? No, because we've read evidence from Russian scholars talking about how Russian officials would perceive the plan, which is way better than like your author from America at the Center for like National American Security saying like, oh, we would just like go in and like get all the oil, wait, wait, which is like what your Russian national says. security advisors are qualified, but American ones are not. <laughs> Explain that to me. Because <laughs> they know like internal Russian politics. The thesis better. of the DA is that America is bad and overly aggressive, and like we should let. So the Russia question is American internal politics, and we trust Russian on that no, no, more no, than no. America. We're just it's saying that how that our just the world quick. Okay, <laughs> Nails, our argument is that Russian scholars are more qualified to answer questions of how Russian officials would perceive the plan, <laughs> and the like whole point of the dissent <laughs> is that it's a perception <laughs> okay. trip. 
Okay. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Can you explain this perception trick argument a little bit more? Uh, Russian Seems hardliners, to cut the other way. Russian hardliner narratives are confirmed when the U.S. ratifies UNCLOS in an attempt to get access to Russia's Arctic oil resources. What's the evidence of that second half? Yeah. Uh, Frolov? Uh, the, the 2007 card. That one? Yeah, that card. Okay. This talks about it would confirm the narrative yeah. of so Moscow's. So the U.S. is already not legally bound by UNCLOS. Why wouldn't it just challenge it, given that there are already no legal constraints against doing oh, so? Oh, we we do challenge it. It's just that like the UNCLOS or the ISA or whatever tribunal in UNCLOS regulates now. the Arctic is just like no, you don't have a legal claim. Which the U.S. is already doesn't give a shit about because you aren't party to UNCLOS. Why doesn't Russia already freak out because we're already challenging them? Wait, no, you haven't read evidence saying we're already challenging. I just them. asked you and you said that was true. What? <laughs> no, I I don't understand. We're, we're challenging them for the we oil are, resources. We are, we are not succeeding because there is no tribunal ruling, yeah. which does not give that us the. Success. It does not give us the pretext <laughs> to. No, no, no. But the perception is triggered when we use it as a pretext to yeah. advance our military like, troops. They know that we them. can't no, actually. No, you don't read any evidence that we're doing that. We don't, we're not militarizing. If we the join UNCLOS, there's an actual chance that we could kick Russia out of parts of the Arctic that we also have a claim to. Okay, uh, you all should go to bed. Check. I would too. <laughs> Why don't we just check them off from here like we've done in past? Yeah, I don't know why we don't just do that. Oh. You want to do it instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I still have to pee either way. So. Yeah. Everyone just stay in here and we'll check you out. I plan on staying to watch the rest of the round. Stay seated. But you're also welcome Otherwise, to leave. Otherwise, leave. Wait, no room check? Yeah, we can, we can check you off we'll here. We'll check you off from here. So if you yeah. plan on staying to watch the round, stay here. Otherwise, go ahead and leave. Wait, Lawrence. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about transferring lives in case you told me to talk to you. Yeah, talk to me after this debate round. This is, this is Do you know when it's like around when it's gonna end? Talk to me tomorrow. Okay, okay. I have a question. Okay, that's fun. Um, I imagine we'll lose about half the people in this room, which is a good number because it's getting quite hot in here. What's the one AR look like? A bunch of things that I think we get. A bunch of things what? Yes, that, that, the trying to counterplan as an independent offense argument on it. The, I think, like, Wait, which one's the independent offense argument? Just like the Valencia argument, which is just like our current strategy is containment that causes war. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they Wait, dropped is it, is the... Is it tomorrow's sleep they're wearing? No, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, they like... I'm not sure if the Iran deal is going, worth going for, even though they're like only made like one or two. And the CMR in it. Yeah, it was totally dropped. Uh, is there anything else to the DOD stuff? Um, uh, this is just like a motivation. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, uh, for those of you that have chosen to remain, for those of you that have...
Alexa? Matt, this is a <laughs> Oh, that's good. I just got it. Um, Okay, I'll take that. Um, I'll take one of the first one. i Oh, okay. This is in my heart. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait oh, uh, uh, you need to answer this affirm on faith okay. because affirm equals oh like my with God. Because that was on the chair just that which I didn't say. Uh, it makes Good place to sit in, Ben. Uh, it brings debate and move on. Yeah, <laughs> it makes the debate. If you spend more than five seconds on it, we'll no, I'm not going to. All right, cool. Ready? Oh, yeah. Have you uploaded the doc? Wait, Matt, have you uploaded the doc? Yeah. The doc? Oh, oh, I forgot there's a doc. Um, yeah, we're happy, we're happy I don't know if it's formatted, like how docs should be formatted, but yeah, they'll agree. have the things that I'm reading. No, what? no. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll take this. All right. All right, I uploaded the doc. Is everyone ready? Yep. Um, all right. Let me know when you got it. Uh, it's only halfway done. No, <laughs> uh, just no tell it's me when more than halfway done. Well, there's 1% on my phone. Chris, can I use your time on my phone? Yeah. Um, can you okay, I'm good. Uh, yeah. All right, sick. It shouldn't close down in the middle. So we'll All right, you ready, Lawrence? Or is that the loading? Uh, it, it's okay. You can go for it. You sure? Let's go yeah. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, it's going to go theory, then the terror DA, then the SES advantage. All right? Cool. All right. Theory reject the argument, because key to substance education, anything else results in a one sentence ending the round, and a firm on face breaks the bit. It's obvious the stupid argument thinks a round is allable. We can say the same thing about strongly negate the terror argument. Terror outweighs in turns case clients says the US is vulnerable. The only thing that stops the successful attacks is our ability to interdict ships without prohibits. Absent interdiction, nuclear terror, bioterror, shipping lanes attacks completely destroy the global trade are inevitable. It happens faster than the interface restriction on interdiction go place immediately after the plan. But clients says new rate impacts are already being planned where it takes years to release to use on cost mechanisms to solve the advantages. Nuclear terror causes extinction because states retaliate with their own nukes after one and see you and bioterror causes extinction, Sandberg at all away. Biology make it possible to engineer passage and capable of extinction passage and self replicating along with Mars and all become exponentially disruptive. And why hope reason you can reach isolated individuals to engineer passage and make capable of causing human extinction and trace an impact fault. Your only collapse to trade only trade collapse due to the DA makes war possible. Griswold 7. Uh, trade has promoted economic integration. The economies become more entwined. Trade is to lose its war breaking out, making economies freer to uh, make, translate to peace. The last free, uh, the last, uh, the least free states are 41 times more conflict than the most free. Trade allows nations to acquire wealth through the production and exchange rather than the conquest of military or territory and resources. It intertwines economies. General war in Europe is now unthinkable. Any state economic ties case the peace China's made to go to war, but the economic cost would be staggering. And turns case one high tension of the nuclear terror triggers the SES scenario, which only warrant for the because the only war uh, for war start the only warrant for war starting is tensions. And second, econ decline causes extinction and turns SES absent decline. SES war is impossible. Thomas in Interdependence ways that cause a conflict, but negative trade expansion generate tensions that increase the risk of military conflict. If leaders anticipate decline, they may blame appeal to end up foreign sentiments of conflict, force of use of force or adopt production of policy and refuse to be deterred by nuclear arms. As long as there is a turn in independence, tensions in each are unlikely to escalate into war. The greatest risk is not a territory dispute that leads to war, but present circumstances that, but that, that change in the world economy render interstate peace precarious. Nuclear deterrence is the only factor prevent the world from Armageddon. Deterrence could lose credibility. Great powers might gamble. Three cooperation makes it becomes impossible. That everyone's too busy worrying about calming attacks. Great power tensions are through the roof, and global economies in a free world because speed. shipping lines have been closed, and four nuclear terror causes U.S. lash out, which turns north. Montgomery 09. Nuclear terror attack on uh, American soil could read the rise from panic and tremendous loss in confidence in the government. The public reaction to it not could include emotional demands of retaliation that might spark a wider and state war between the enemies. One of the key goals with the 9-11 attacks was the broken invasion of, of Afghanistan. The link debate. Clients has uncloudedly places a bunch of restrictions on innovation. Even if we ask permission, countries say no, especially Iran and North Korea, which is the progenitor on the case. Just as Iran is saying no, sufficient because client isolates straight up or moves a potential target that would collapse the global economy. That's right, it's to Iran. Two, unclosed definitely stops interdiction. The evidence sets for the provision. Jacobs and 11. Lost the right of passage. Article 38 proclaims all ships and aircraft enjoy the right of trade the passage was not be which shall not be impeded that trade includes terrorist ships lost to create a global enforcement agency if the US ratifies all it affirms the uh, ISA's authority and US naval is could not interdict ships under control of terrorists interdicting ships in, uh, including carry, uh, ships carrying weapons of mass destruction three tribunal authority means the US can interdict anything other than five conditions none of which are about terrorism written in six article 10 specifies military ships not, uh, not justified in boarding foreign ships unless they are reasonable grounds expecting that a the ship is not engaged in secret gain piracy b the ship engaged in the slave trade c unauthorized broadcasting d the ship is that nationality or e the ship is the same nationality as the warship states could attain ships 
can find their actions, review, subject, review, and judge, uh, uh, judgment by it loss. Article 90, paragraph 5 of the law, the state treaty it laws to automatically adjudicate such disputes for unclassed mixed and evil intelligence gathering illegal spring in all 07. American Reserve from undermined intelligence operations in the United States assumes a command not to collect intelligence. Uh, U.S. will sign away its ability to collect intelligence vital for American security within the territory waters of any country. Uh, Article 19. Naval intelligence high now in counter Sierra Ackerman 09. The U.S. Navy is ramping up its intelligence structure with command upgrades and a new set of priorities designed to rebuild naval intelligence, new maritime uh, intelligence office, global terror on terror, and the uncertainties exhibited by uh, several nations. Navies have moved U.S. intelligence back to the front burner of naval operations. The importance of maritime intelligence is being evaluated. And no uniqueness to the turn or turn. The U.S. will inevitably have uh, FETFO and is uh, involved in IE law disputes, which is, answers the, their norms advantage as well. Groves 11. The United States have a Georgia freedom of speech and independence will continue to Soviet independence. The Uncost, the United States remains the greatest maritime power in the world, deeply involved in ongoing issues related to the law of the sea as intense as the urban nation. And Uncost doesn't solve that when the reason exists because of naval strait. The treaty approach fails. Carfano 14. Uncost can't possibly accomplish the freedom of the seas. The U.S. has joined freedom of the seas decade without signing on because the U.S. protects everyone's right in the commons and the military has the capacity to defend that freedom on South China Sea. Uh, overview, they don't solve the Frankie evidence says that Uncost is vague wording, which ensures both China and the U.S. have backing for the SCS claims to meet dispute resolution is impossible. China refuses to do arbitration with, with, will di and will disregard any ruling, which is which is exactly what happens in the 2016 it lost case, which is they are one AC card evidence. None of their case evidence is actually joining Unclos causes China to be compliant. And no solvency, multiple warrants, and assumes their evidence. Fox and Sutton 16. The U.S. It's not a claim that on on would provide no additional tools suggesting the SCS if the presence of an American panel on the panel would have play, played to the submission of hardline of China would be the international legal regime as a vehicle for advancing U.S. interests. The only thing the United U.S. would achieve by joining on would be to deprive Beijing of its talking point about U.S. Ex explorations of anti hypocrisy. There's no reason to believe that Beijing will submit to the tribunal's authority. Beijing has made a calculated decision defending its perceived sovereignty outweighs reputational damage. There is nothing hypocritical about the United States economy on the international community to respect the legal commitments to which they have voluntarily pledged. And overview: no escalation. The keg evidence is great. It says incidents don't escalate to nuclear use because both sides would rather lose a bit of credit ability with hawks to destroy the entire economy and diplomacy and smaller retaliation would be used as a reason. All of their evidence destruction has no warrants or scenario for conflict breakdown or nuclear escalation and no escalation. Democracy, historical memory, distance, low casualties and incidents. Kaplan 14. East Asia doesn't escape distancing, separating the capital C and P's aggression. Moving inland is nearly impossible. The fascist warships giving diplomats time to do their work. Asian countries posture verbally to avoid actual combat incidents would occur even uh, over water where there will be few casualties. Reducing the prospect of a single incident will lead to war. East Asia features robust democracies. Limited eruptions do not equal cataclysm. Uh, societies like China, Japan, Memories of war less likely to grief violence to struggle and joy. The U.S. will take every measure to avoid it. No war, trade, and institutions tech. Basically, 14. Asia is not about a double on war. China is America's most important trading partner. Beijing and Washington are aware of how much they have at stake. The two powers have established a wide range of institutional rings to manage their relations to lower the risk of misunderstanding spiraling. Today's world combatants would have a deep level of interaction. Asian nations must have a broad range of multilateral institutions and mechanisms to approve trust. 15 separate bodies focused on regional security turns. These mechanisms have been crucial in managing specific crises. And Trump decks their I law solvency laundry list. Wolf 18. Trump takes no greater joy than adjusting their international order undoing multilateral agreements. It is a full frontal assault on decades of U.S. created led world order. APEC, uh, uh, Trump delivered an America first speech. Paris agreement. Trump got out of the deal. Trump cheered when UK voters opted opted to Brexit. G7, Russia was kicked out. Trump said it would not, it should be allowed back in. Iran, the deal. Trump took the U.S. out of the deal. Uh, Trump has complained that NATO members aren't spending enough on defense. NAFTA, he has vowed to renegotiate the deal. TPP, Trump's reject the massive trade deal. U.S. withdrew from the U.N. Council, setting Israel president overtaken a dramatic drop in the number of every year. Trump has been frustrated by the WTO. All these means that we can't restore the international world order. It's collapsing in either world. Okay, uh, we have some arbitrary amount of prep time. Yeah. Seven, <laughs> yeah. Seven, yeah. Seven, 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 okay, starting. Um, okay, so SCS to manage. Do we have more time? Do we have more time? Do we have more Yeah, I could have got that. I could have got that. How much time do you have? I had five seconds, but like I could have been faster. Yeah, I slowed down. Yeah, but it's fine. It was the card, it was the like maybe read about like the computer expert. Okay. Yeah. I think we're probably okay. Um, wait, wait. I need water. Does anyone have an iPhone charger? Yeah. Um, okay, what is if you just reach in my bag, oh, I can get it. And then there's, a, there's a USB outlet on the other side of that little thing right there. Um, Anything you need me to do? Um, not particularly, unless you got more stuff on here. Yeah. Uh, not normally this long, because normally there's like a finite amount of prep, but... Yeah. But normally pretty long. Let me, let me see if I have some of the, uh... This is USB C, so I'm using a computer. That's kind of lit. I think that's about everything. Wait, okay, sorry. Um.
Did the 2AC read the UIT evidence on no. the Terra Dis ad? But the one I was going to see, might, might as well keep it around. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. If I'm fast enough. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, you answered the term. Um, yeah. 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 We violate I law now. This doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I think we should go. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just said I read a card that said you're going to go to the law, so the answer's there. Yeah, no, we're good. All right, 520. 520. We're able and tell the associates that we don't even have the ability to do it. There's only oh, one card that's not really to AC deck. Oh, what is it? Where? One, one second. I'm just going to see this. You, do you have like a doc with like analytics or something? Yeah, sure. Can you just post that? Because um, I could not follow most of the 2 AC. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I am relatively unclear. So, well, you were not that bad. You were, no, I thought you, you were, were clear. I was, it was that. just impossible to flow because there was like one line blitz. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I thought you were still reading a card and then I'm like, wait, this is now a theory argument. What? <laughs> that is correct. Yeah, I did my job. <laughs> So I uploaded the document I'll be looking at if you think you'd prefer that. It's mostly an amalgamation of like the various 2AC things that he said that I just want to have in front of me to reference, not something I'll be reading straight off of. And then I'll also upload to the drive just the cards that I'll be reading. Because um, I imagine it would just be Actually, I can just upload this to the. To yeah, we're not we're not putting anything that is like going to destroy the education of children in this one. I are. <laughs> that was just the two I see. I think we should have made an argument that like there are PFers in the room. <laughs> what have you done to them? <laughs> we didn't give them the doc. I felt like yeah, I felt like Rubens and Nils were correct not to hand out Curry's paradox to all the PFers. Yeah. I may have copied and pasted it from Wit's doc, but you know. <laughs> oh, Wit Jackson, what a man. Oh, the DOD count button shouldn't be at the top, so. Where's the stand? It's right there. Uh, speech doc. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. We've, we've had a lot of fun with speech this. doc. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the puns are. The I didn't even get that. Oh, is there, not, is there only like a few puns in the two AC? Uh, no, there are actually a lot. I just didn't uh, emphasize them because I needed to get through more stuff. Yeah, if you look at the two AC. Oh yeah, all the theory puns are there. He didn't set up the analytics, did he? I did not. Okay, well, yeah, all the theory, like, they go overboard or whatever. I wrote the abandoned ship. Like, abandoned ship. That's okay. Cool. The order is going to be the South China Sea advantage, then, where is that? Our, the China containment counter plan, then the norms advantage, then. The must specify status arg, the new 2 C one. The 2 and R, 2 and C one. Uh, wait, wait, what? Oh, uh, sorry, I, where did it, you have it? What? The, I was answering the nibs bad thing. Which oh, sheet do okay, you have yeah. that on? Wherever that is, yeah. that's next. All right, cool. Um, I had it on the spec status thing. Um, but if you have it on a separate sheet, okay, that's wait. what's So going. SES norms. Uh, no, SES China containment counter plan norms. Wherever you have the nibs bad arg. That's so um, then we've got. The uh, piracy counter plan, the hotline Jinping counter plan, the DOD counter plan, the hedge DA, the terror DA, the Russia DA. Wait, so is the theory thing after case immediately? It's after the norms advantage. Okay, cool. This will be fun. <laughs> what? Like, the fact that there's like eight pages in the... In the one AR? Yeah, yeah <laughs> like actually, there's actually, only one page that isn't covered by the... Which is? Huh? I have two subs. papers on the floor. Yeah, we're, we didn't get... We're not going for the subs uh, subs page, and we're not going for the piracy counter plan. Right. Oh, no, wait, piracy's in there. Oh, is it? Sorry, where's the piracy page? Oh, uh, write it. Oh, God. Right 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 <laughs> It's right after the yeah, next uh, initial dead. Okay. Okay. Before Honestly, Honestly, I'm considering. They did say that 2AC wouldn't have read a single theory argument if the one he was only like five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was entirely responsive to the fact that most of your DAs were less than, were like not even a full card, actually. Because <laughs> um, otherwise, I could have read more substantive stuff, but. 
that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so I just so instead I traded out substance. Also, you could have told us to cut three off, and we would have. Nah, but where's then the fun we in that? Have made our theory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told you that the resolved a priori is true, and I just yeah. believe in my theory arguments more. I really yeah. believe in them. Um, just, for anyone who opened the document, I mostly just copy and pasted a bunch of two AC stuff, which is there for my reference. Don't expect I'm gonna read straight down all of that. So. Okay. There's analytics in there, but just like why it's not me verbatim stuff. Yeah. <coughs> Alright. Uh, is anybody not ready? Okay. What was that? Okay, cool. Then I'll begin. SCS confident waste is the most likely center in the South Core Office from 2018. It shows that confidence is likely now because of both the United States and Chinese aggression in the region. They have missed the boat of three internal links. First is the plan is key to maintain navigation routes with shores of naval presence. That's a card number's internal links of their hegemony, as well as their other impact on the United States building of force because we can't do that if we don't have uh, maintaining navigation routes. Second is the key to show up uh, international laws of legitimacy writ large. The United States reneging shows our allies uh, that we are not committed to the global uh, structure of institutions rule of laws. This is the multiple uh, ones. We have a certain only neutral mechanism to resolve negotiations. Now that only turns up the Frankie Evans just union to the shows that Chinese. Already running and rush out over small countries, well, only the, just the US can renegotiate that to uh, will. It's not just a question of asking them nicely and hoping that they comply, it's a question of pressuring them via international routes, which are more legitimate, which means they cannot no longer uh, back their China. In the years since it's written history, they do care about international legitimacy via the things like the trade policy, whether as well as the climate policy, they've been pushing for international cooperation as well as uh, getting more other countries to show that it would be affected. The, their new impact cards that they're fucking sending out to HBO, they want to form into one of the that it's necessary to pressure the other ways and always either one. You guys need escape because the capital damage is not about the SCS, it's about these things. In North Korea, those not the same countries. Uh, not all these, uh, not, not all these Asian countries are saying the business they have about trade, but they are uh, that Trump, Trump decks out the South Korea. We obviously uh, are pressing protecting on China, which means doesn't solve the South Korea. No law, their wolf evidence suggests you need the unique defense that that unit cost uh, is already failing. Now, only the plan is the only chance the plan reinvigorates that because the unit cost would be a massive 180 for Trump, which means uh, would be a massive change of policy. Oh, now, even if you don't think we're in uniform, we're uniform before, go to the China containment counter, they can see the Valencia and the Jewish that says the acting revisionist now, which nothing else has solved. It postdates all the impact, even the that we have unique if they've dropped. It, it also is containment failed, which means another generic case of the combat. Now the North of the we're not going for it. The drone stuff is already contained in the Jewish TNT. Drones are not feasible. Check out the turn also. We will see the piracy. He's not in that high now, which means there's no new impact to the turns anyway. The uh, pearl stuff, yes, it is a double turn. Your card literally says proliferation, soul is accomplished. A support checks every other DA because it means those wars don't happen in the world of nuclear weapons because nuclear countries do not act suicidal. That was your own part of the army. Uniqueness does not make any sense. Uniqueness for us, the proliferation is not happening now. And the F causes it. That's just a unique link to your impact turn. Spec status. Uh, fairness is a money issue. Fine. Uh, piracy combat also fine. You solved it, man. We're not going for it. Uh, the hotline gym, gym got fine. Uh, first of it doesn't take out the China combat because the uh, army says it feels now. Obviously, it's not sufficient. If it's the Valencia, it concludes that China's already being revisioned. Then uh, the hotline is not been sufficient. Or Ron Adams is missing. Missing. Yes, it caused the combat because Ron can push us in the trigger from the machine center. It's also linked towards the hedge DA because proves that we are not going to follow the Lord Commander's surprise or a Middle Eastern allies like Israel and the Saudi Arabian uh, Saudi Arabian Peninsula. Now, the DD combat they dropped the CMR on the planet. Can you see more? Because it shows that the Senate is agreeing with the Navy. Um, Suggesting to do the uh, to, to do to do you cost they can see that's a key key to conflict because the public is more well, unwilling to go to conflict than the military. They've also dropped perm do the plan and allow the navy to veto action in Russia. They can see we can advocate for protection, which is solves the DA because we just will not attack Russia, which means your DA cannot have another hegemony. DA. They've dropped a straight turn here. They did not have any impact even since they're Bruce and Wolf for that. This is an AFCAR because it says the United States need to maintain global military policy. Only we do that. They're interlinked as dog shit and, and another part saying that, but they've dropped a uh, link turn the dog and says that they have plans key to maintain strong legal split for confidence, which means we are. Uh, the key to like the is also key to the economy more broadly. And they can see the economy is the key to like the head on the free break and show five only one AC that enters the Russian day. Now the terror, now the terrorism disadvantage. First off, this link just absolutely makes no sense. This is cross examination of the ones that we just could not give an answer. The entire thing is that this global cabal is uh, secretly colluding to cover up the fact that we solved nuclear terrorism. Asking them what coherent politicians would not want to take credit for solving a nuclear terrorist attack. Look at the way Obama reacted after OBL. He obviously would have taken credit if they could stop nuclear terrorist attack. Terrorist attack. And also, if they're not, if they are not being released, how the hell do they know these things are happening? Um, the Griswold evidence says, uh, it's obviously dis dis disproved by 9-11, the Griswold evidence not is disproved by 9 11 we did not shut down all of global trade, the Tonneson evidence is another card that says nuke deterrence also means another prolific impact card for us, the, uh, the link, the link to me, this is nautical nonsense, uh, their author is uh, on front page magazine, and if it had any legal uh, authority, he could have got published in a real journal, you should prefer, or from testimony on the floor of Congress, from the Turner evidence, which says that it is legal, because it's in default of the Navy here, they obviously are the ones with the strong incentive to say that the negative is right, and they still affirm, they song evidence also answers that even if we don't enter that, we can still 
enough force them to go ashore and search it there with an independent way around the law. There is no limit because customary international law already makes this illegal and the U.S. abides by that, which means there's no uniqueness for the link to the link to that needs to have to have norms internal link to the because obviously we need cooperation to solve a global terror network. It's not just United States Pacific Arlington Cowboys also because uh, there is no reason why ports are the only way for nuclear tests to happen. I mean, they, even if these seas are 100% secure, they can just smuggle it in over the land or attack via other methods or spoof a nuclear launch which is the impact of Nebula, no lake, article 110. Wait, you don't read the card, just say we concede to freedom of navigation solves all war checks their impact. That's true, we did concede that it solves their impact, freedom of navigation solves. Also, uh, the, there's zero evidence, that, um, I already made that argument. Uh, uh, the lack of evidence also conceded and said that we increase legal authority which is the link turn of this, that allows cooperation, also people are not because this country are already part of the nucleus and are still cooperating, no impact of biotrace and dumb. 12 viruses are useless as weapons, the history of the four minor biomedicine, two of the fatal cases, one of our desperate agents of weapons, and another cult, and I can stop us and summon on nobody died. Public infrastructure was, uh, 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 that I'm sure we have to recruit anti cults and finance and highly land can move representing worst case scenario, nobody got said, now the Russia idea. This is absolutely nonsensical. First off, you know, spot them that these are the hegemony today. The way that we contain global conflict is the United States maintaining a strong presence of alliances and commitment to deter or uh, to, to deter our aggressors. The thesis of the Russia idea is that we back down against Russia in a key region of the Arctic, which obviously signals to countries like Norway, Northern Europe, and Canada that we are not actually going to defend their interests in the Arctic region, which uh, means they're both brooks to the occupied world for them to answer the entire thesis of the disadvantage. Also, their own unions have to answer this because this is that we already have a legal framework in place, which means there is literally no reason why the U.S. would randomly attack Russia. Ask yourself why the hell we would do that. Perception doesn't make sense because Russia are not asked on idiot to use yourself aside of them. Also, it doesn't make sense because it's to watch the news and figure out what our opinions are. No, you need, uh, there's it's not unique in the sense of our Russia's evidence that Russia is already jockeying our only plan to solve the concern of a legal framework for cooperation is key to the other issues like the Arctic Capital which means we access their new framework as well. Obviously, uh, their internal link is nonsense because they assume that Russia is just too ludicrous to recognize that also the permutation of the common souls. There's no impact in America, confidence that the um, uh, Russian and Russian motivation. Uh, actually, I have to read this. No Russian war motivation, motivation people, confidence 15. The strong is reviving confidence that Russia may be interested in a plan to solve the conflict. The U.S. is looking to resume the conflict that can prove the result of the conflict that Russia and the U.S. working relationship. Also, they abandoned one solve because they seem to that we solve all conflict. Some some amount of prep. Okay, okay. a reasonable amount. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait. Okay. So uh, yes. Let's just go for I actually like, totally yeah. forgot to make that. Yeah. It's just like yeah. don't read this link card. Conceded to F O N for a reason. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Permutation on the DoD thing in the 2AC. Yep. Yeah, it was. Uh, okay. I can find it. There are three reasons why we get floating, uh, why we get to advocate oh, permutations. Okay. The permutation was once. <laughs> Perm do the AF and have the DoD veto the blocking of Russian access to Arctic okay, resources. Okay, okay. Yep. Um, which is an ocean policy, which we think the DoD should have control over. <laughs> it wasn't. A, it wasn't a theory argument. Okay. So, where is the DoD? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, if we can, <laughs> why not? Also, how many terms did you make? 
in total. Yeah. In the two AC? Yeah. Probably like eight. Eight? Yeah. So you read eight that's conditional advocacies? Yeah. But they read kind of good for us, so. Okay, that's fair. Let's see. Okay, TBH, the reason we read that many perms was to get them to spot us the link to condo bad. Uh, that's yeah, because they would be like multiple perms bad. And we'd be like, ah, oh, but you said condo, so. One, two, three, four, five. Like two. <laughs> No one thinks they're advocacy. That's a cheese argument. That's an argument that's absolutely true. I don't know. Well, there's a lot. If there are four counterplans, there's got to be like at least eight or ten. I think there are only six perms, actually. Wow. So, yeah, we're totally. Only six? Four counterplans? Yeah. All right. Nice of us. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if we're going for any UCP database because they are mostly nonsense. Yeah, but the negative did concede that perfect conditions are advocacy. So, it would seem interesting. What if your reason is obviously ridiculous? Say, you have to test such competition, otherwise, you can't count your plans and you can still extend perfect conditions. That is what that would assume, yes. I, I agree. I'm waiting for the impact. I'm going to try to think on right now. I will engage with you. Although I will give you, it was pretty fast. That's so weird. I don't know if I did this on purpose. Well, you signed up for three of Eric's mods. No, but I don't remember doing that. This is like it's unfortunate. I mean, I don't mind it. It's just that. Okay, that's not bad. Yes, they're going to go for the tier. Yeah, that's right. So I just need to deal with the link stuff. Tier D. Now I need to find a replacement partner set. I'll do it. You want to partner with me for a call today? Thank you. I want to. I want to. You're about to leave. We can do it Thursday night. I'm doing the Kuzu Thursday night. I do want to have a video Thursday night. That's so much, but I get crushed. Spicy cheeses? I love that. Oh, the spicy cheeses are actually It sounds so good. White cheddar cheeses are actually Oh, there I go. Spicy is good. Spicy jalapenos. I think spicy jalapenos are nice. It's really hard. Why would you do that? All right, cool. So, shh, this is not even going to use my computer, so this is not necessary. All right. Oh. So I got this. Oh. All right. Oh. Lawrence's charger, but I forgot. What? Oh, wait, no, no, that black cable is the non-USB-C one. No, but I said it was good USB-C. Oh, I found okay. that one and I was like, oh, that's better. Yeah. Then I can do it well that's quick charge, that's true. Okay. Oh, it's quick charge, too? If it, well, if it goes through a particular uh, a particular outlet that I have in my room. Uh, save them, destroy them, sell them, I don't know. We will post them on the YouTube channel if we feel like it, which I, it depends on just how much, how much I feel like doing it. So broken. I'm sorry. I don't know how to use it, so I kind of messed it up. Okay, this is the, there we go. All right, awesome. So, this is going to be a fun time. Okay, so these are all the pulls I need to hit. Okay, I need to. Okay, so the first thing I know is going to be the Terrigis app, because that's what we're going for. All right. Um, surprise. Okay. The, let's see, so after that, 
Okay, I don't need to deal with that. Okay. All right. So I know what it means. See for the back of the class. We are. We are. This is. Thanks, Kathy. A joke in fourth grade. Yeah. I would have like the. I remember in fourth grade when we told teachers about our weaknesses. We thought we were the okay. people in the world. Okay, okay. so... Yeah. I remember that one, too. Okay, I think I have an order. Okay. So, okay. it's gonna start <laughs> on the Russia disad, like, for literally one second. Okay. Um, no. And then no. the terror disad for, like, a long time. Then hedge disad, hotlines counterplan with, like, the stupid Iran stuff. Uh, the Ooh. prolif double turn. And then the case... The SES advantage? Yeah, or the SES advantage, because that's all you're going for. Okay. Well, uh, that's not all we're going for. I mean, well, yeah, you have, like, the whatever containment bullshit. We have okay. other things, too. Who's going to be in the folder? Uh, uh, there's no cards. There's no docs, so... Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Russia will concede there's nowhere terror disad. Here's the overview. It happens faster than all their impasse. That was conceded because it happens based on assertions that go into place immediately after you vote out, whereas it takes at least some time to solve SES core. It's like to get China to comply. It outweighs because they concede nuclear terror causes extinction quickly. That's their case evidence. It causes nuclear retaliation. It's the only way that extinction happens because they said, one, deterrence stops all war. Two, freedom of navigation stops all war. That will be more on the case debate. They also fucked up the Griswold evidence. 9-11 doesn't disprove because 9-11 wasn't a nuclear terrorism attack. They concede trade solves East Asian war specifically and makes it literally impossible because China would incur too many costs, and also the straight, uh, yeah, okay, uh, and our scenario is about, like, trade collapse immediately due to a terror attack on the Strait of Hormuz, that was conceded, it's the client evidence. The Tonison argument is they say deterrence solves, that's our argument, it means that uh, there will be no war unless econ decline happens, because the Tonison card says deterrence stops all conflict unless the economy declines and the leaders become more protectionist, which causes East Asia security dynamics to break down, otherwise territorial disputes don't escalate, they also concede that the U.S. will lash out if their nuclear terrorist attack happens, which collapses norms, which turns all their norms, solve stuff, the link debate. First introduction is disappeared after unclass. We have we have oh, the only side which the uh, Jacobson evidence cites specific provisions of unclass as long as the uh, written or evidence cites specific provisions saying interdiction would be banned is better than their congressional testimony, which doesn't have a legal backing in the actual words of the treaty. They also conceded two other link arguments and the two uh, the one in our the first is that ITLOS jurisdiction is a unique new enforcement mechanism that means all of their stuff about oh it's illegal now doesn't matter because we do not comply with international law and the status quo because it is not enforced. But unclass has an enforcement mechanism which is the written or evidence which deters us from doing counter-terror in the first place. They also conceded our intel internal link completely, which says that we will lose all of our naval intelligence if you vote off, which means that we literally do not where, know where the terrorist attacks can, are happening from. We can't co up to solve them, and we can't stop them with the interdiction. That was all conceded uh, line by line. They say the congressional testimony stuff that was answered above with the Jacobson. Um, you should prefer our evidence citing specific legal provisions within the treaty. They say it's illegal now. That was above. They say norms turns it. That doesn't make any sense because norms collapse if the nuclear terror attacks happen, and you can't do intel, which means you can't co up to solve. They say uh, that you know, like we could smuggle on land. That doesn't make any sense that it hasn't isn't happening in the status quo we have tons of border security under trump and it was new in the one year they say f1 solves all war that's our point they don't have an impact because f1 solves all war they say legal authority turns it that doesn't make any sense because of the tribunal argument that was explained above okay um do i need to do anything else it outweighs they can see the time frame comes first because you can only go extinct once it means intervening actors can't solve and it means all of our turns case arguments happen faster um yeah it turns the ses because if econ declines it obviously causes ses war that's the tonus and evidence the hedge just said this turn doesn't make any sense because they said there's no internal link between like U.S. Uh, technology and hegemony in the 2AC and the 1AC cross sex and they also don't have uniqueness saying hedges declining in the status quo. So, so this is like a non-unique link turn at best. The hotline's counterplay. There's no internal link to Iran. They don't have an explanation for why. Uh, like they literally call for the Rogers evidence. It does not say that we can stop war with unclaws with Iran or anything in the Middle East. They don't have an explanation of this impact. The uh, prolif double turn doesn't make any sense because we read the CAC evidence saying states will never proliferate regardless, which means that proliferation double turn doesn't make any sense because no, we do not. Like, the Voting Act does not cause new states to get nuclear weapons because of the CAC evidence, which they concede, that says there's no incentive for a state to do it, it's super expensive, and there's no fissile material. Cool. Um, the case. I have a lot of time, so I'm probably going to go back to the chair just out at the end. The case. 
Couple of arguments. First is the DOD counterplan. They said FON solves all war. That means it probably solves SES war because of the crash evidence that they read. They said also that said on the tune of evidence that deterrence stops all war, which probably is a pretty good reason that the US and China won't go to war because they're all of their uh, uniqueness evidence is literally trash from like Philippine daily news and like random people asserting that China is just going to be suicidal and attack the US, which means absolutely no sense. Our Kaplan evidence is better. It says there will be no war in Asia because there's tons of trade ties. It takes a no, no small instance will escalate due to miscall because there's tiny casualties. There are verbal posturing and there's memories of war, which stop countries from being aggressive and make them more restrained, which answers all of their containment stuff on the other counter plan that I'm not talking about. The Basley evidence is also fucked up because they just said that Trump thumps all the trade stuff, but that doesn't make any sense because the Basley evidence also says there are tons of East Asian security institutions that stop all war from escalating, which they did not answer in the 1AR and do not let them sandbag all the weighing on the terror just side in the 2AR by doing a bunch of new weighing because there was like no weighing in the 1AR other than saying like, oh, it's going to happen because like, I don't know, we have a card from 2018. Um, okay. They also fucked up the future evidence. There's an internal turn in this argument that they did not answer in the one hour, which says that U.S. joining UNCLOS causes Chinese hardliners to gain more credibility, and they think that Americans being put on the ISA panels will be more biased against China, which means China will literally definitely not listen. They, they, this card is fantastic, and you should read it after the round. It also says that they have already, Beijing has already made the strategic calculation that they care more about territorial sovereignty than uh, the reputation for international law, which answers literally all of their arguments. It also, this card also has a line that says that getting rid of the hypocrisy argument is not sufficient to solve because of this thing about a giant Beijing already made its calculations. The Norns are even screwed up because we read a fantastic piece of evidence saying Trump has already terminally screwed all international laws, which means they can't go for this, like, I, I lost all, all war stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do on the case. Okay, go back to the terror. Just add anything else I should say? Because I have, like, a minute. Okay, um, let's just, like, slow down a little bit. Oh, bioterror. Nah, I'm not going to go for that. They, like, they read... Okay, look, here's how the round breaks down. They have no impact defense to nuclear terror, and they said it causes extinction. All of the arguments that they made in the one hour about like freedom of navigation, nuclear deterrence, trade, all of that stuff is probably pretty sufficient impact defense on the SES advantage. There is a much higher chance of nuclear terror causing escalation. It just is so much more probable. We have like great evidence. The Tonison evidence was just totally screwed up. The only argument in the one hour was that deterrence solves war. That is our point. The Tonison evidence says deterrence solves all war in East Asia specifically, unless the economy declines, leaders become more protectionist and actually are willing to do adventurism. Like, it answers all of their arguments about China is aggressive now or revisionist now, because it says the territorial incidents in the South China Sea specifically will not escalate. The link debate is pretty clear. They just dropped that, like, tribunals will stop. Grace. What? Firms are advocacies. Answer it. Oh, no, perms are not advocacies, and it just takes out the Russia dissent, which doesn't matter because the Russia dissent has no impact. They conceded two links that we read in the 1NR that take out all of their link arguments. Okay. okay. And so the perm really advocated your counter plan and then said it was their new advocacy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like, right. it doesn't matter. Uh, 520 left. Uh, so, yeah. Larry. Yeah. So there's the sign of the global trade collapse. It's the straight up our moves. <laughs> Remember how they pointed out how we didn't formally have an impact of the straight up our moves? <laughs> you want to type that up for me? Sure. Uh, okay, I'll do the tear DA stuff, and if I get to the case stuff, I'll have something to say there. Um, I want more. Yeah. Yeah. I, I probably could have spent more time on the line by line chair, but yeah, like, the link stuff. That's fine. Okay. Also, do you have anything more? Oh yeah, can you just uh, whatever? Yeah. Right. yeah, they just drop it, so I'll just put. They'll, they'll be the top of two AR. Uh, I don't know. I think you could emphasize that one really good card in the SCS. Yeah, I don't know. It was fine. It was fine. I thought it was. I thought it was Holy crap, I'm sweating so much. Oh, right. I, did you see me sit after the after this break? Yeah. 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 If you want to have a substitute for you, you know, hit 10 here, I'm going to get a video. Yes, please. Yeah, I want to do that. Alright, Thursday night? Yeah. Sounds good. We'll yeah. talk later. Uh, okay. LD. What? Okay, the colonel's advocate, that's just like saying that like we now steal the DOD counter plan, right? Yeah, so the app now changes from defending the plan to the defending the computation. <laughs> But that's what terms as advocacy is mean. It's so stupid. It is. You need to answer it. Wait, why? Because, because now they get the it. The app defends something that's not the plan. You no longer have a link to anything. Yeah, but like the uh, DoD they still link doesn't us. take out the link to the terms. It's still it linked to us even the link to Russia, which like okay, who cares? Yeah, I think that one only takes out Russia, probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, so, we read DoD perm, says yes. Like the only perm that was in the one or the one area. Oh, the one area was the intrinsic perm, right? Yeah, the intrinsic perm on the DoD. But they're going to take out the Russia because like yeah, DOD says account. yes to unclos. I thought, thought permit yeah. the counter plan was extended as well, but I misheard. Yeah, and also like I extended impact defense on Russia, so like who yeah. cares? Yeah. <coughs> All right. Yeah, no. This is fair. <laughs>
I'm messing with you. I've been cheering very hard for Chris and Matt because they. Which one's your favorite? Because we love you. We love you, Chris and Matt. Oh, all right. Well, well, the goats. You did great. Lawrence, remember the puns. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make them unless I got the time. Like we did better than last time. Like, so, like, yeah. oh, yes, this is certainly much better than the one I saw on the internet. Like here. Oh yeah, oh, that was that's, that's big fact. The other one wasn't on the internet. We should have recorded the other one. Yeah, we should have recorded the other one. Did Chris tell you about the other round we did? No. It was the uh, make all debates a tie. Oh, you lost on the, like, don't do that for people who don't have money. No, no, no. No, actually, we, we, we didn't just, go for it. Lawrence went for T, and we, like, screwed up and didn't have any prep in the 2AR. Um, yeah. Yeah, 2AR so was just probably garbage. Been better, but yeah, the 2AR was just bad. Um, it was very disorganized. Honestly, would you, would you like to confirm against me and someone on Thursday? On what? Oh, uh, you also told to pre to global trade Maybe. I don't know. Is that possible or not? No. Do you have these? Yeah, yeah. We'll go for a critique against you. Wait, but I want to have a lot of. Oh, never mind. She has an identity. Do you have LD? Okay, no. He's way better than me at LD. I can't be out against him. The one here is impossible. This is false. I love the one. Are you still doing yoga? We'll, we'll figure it out like tomorrow and figure out sides and stuff. If you're trying to do some yoga. Uh, I, I wish that I wish that we yeah. had only read five off in this round. Yes. We should have not yes. read. I should not, you should have not awesome. baited Lawrence and Nails. <laughs> well, you really should not have baited them. Yeah, I mean. I so know. most of the off I were think, just garbage, and we knew we weren't going to go through anyways. I think we could have not read. <laughs> right, but the, the issue is that they just like read offense on those garbage. No, I know that was stupid. I don't <laughs> yeah. know why we did that. No, I think. No subs, no DOD counter plan, and maybe no maybe no containment or something. I don't know. No, the containment CP was fine. The piracy advantage CP then? I don't know. No, that was fine too. They could see that. Well, yeah. They just spread a bunch of offense on the nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. The The what? Uh, next Wednesday. No, next Thursday. Next Thursday and Friday. I'm sad. Oh, I don't know actually. To be fair, your foes are quite good for this fit. Yeah, I mean my handwriting is trash. Do you guys see my foes each other? No, I'm good. Attempt to read. <laughs> Chris Pete, my foes. These are so good. Um, Most of these are blank. I can read just wasted this. <laughs> what? You didn't even see mine that like I actually took no, time to like I knew, write what the cards said. I knew uh, which arguments could, I was going for. Um, I would recommend, like, if you were more interested in this, using better pens. It yeah. actually significantly changes how big well, it is. Okay, yeah. I don't have, like, NG2s and uh, okay. G2s. Um, when well, I offered you a pen earlier, you told me... Okay, no. these okay. pens write really smoothly, uh, and I've used them for... Like you only did the Iran add-on. Uh, yeah. You're yeah. right, though. The, yeah, can you do the CMR stuff, and I'll figure out all the stuff on the case. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Time. <sighs> Whatever. It didn't do... Absolute shit. No, I was. The GMC probably could have been like better on theory, just like. But, uh, uh, okay. Whatever. Okay. 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 The order is the Iran. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're actually going for the fucking oh, no. Iran impact. I mean, you spotted us an impact to it in the last speech, so we'll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. Where is the, where is the Iran impact? Again? Hotline Jim Is it on DOD? It's on the Hotline counter plan. Oh, where do I have that? Well, it's somewhere here. Is it? Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna listen very carefully. Okay, wait, so okay. it's. Lawrence, if you could talk slower than usual, that would be great. Okay. Hot lines, then what? I'm sure you can. Like, I'm sure it wouldn't require you to speak super quickly. Uh, yeah, I probably won't talk that fast. Um. Yeah, but I feel like the two error should be slower just to really. Where did you. Yeah. Did you two error run out on? Okay. Two easy. The, okay, so it's gonna be the hotline counter plan, the containment counter plan. The <coughs> SCS advantage, the hedge DA. Still, you keep on not answering it, and then the terror DA. <laughs> uh, nothing else, right? We're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is everyone ready? 
the Iran add-on, they just totally messed up here and they're up shit creek without a paddle, all of their generic defense about war being impossible takes out any scenario for nuclear terrorism independently escalating because deterrence and trade provide incentives not to escalate, which means their only prayer of a terminal impact is winning that terrorism destroys trade and their only scenario for terror destroying trade is that it shuts down the Strait of Hormuz. Thanks for spotting us an impact. They've dropped the add-on that says the plan is key to remain the security of Strait of Hormuz from a revisionary Iran. Their only answer is that we have no connection to an impact, but they've read an impact for us. Absent Unclos, Iran's challenges go unchecked and global trade collapses inevitable in the status quo. That means conflict becomes possible again. It's try or die for the F. Only we have ed evidence, even if his argument is sport is best. Jess Conrad in 2018, and you should not trust him because he has a strong incentive to win in this debate, but he just dropped an add-on, so whoopsie doops. He's now the countainment counterplan. Valencia was just dropped in the last speech, and it means that we win the SCS advantage definitively, bypasses all of their impact defense because it's all old, and Valencia is a conceited straight turn to their counterplan. It says that China's acting revisionist now, nothing else solves. Our evidence post dates and says that containment inevitably fails. It's offense for us because containment is the status quo, and Valencia says that the only way to reverse that is by adopting a norm-based standard, which is the SCS advantage, which means they can't get around it. The SCS advantage. Now, the counterplan, freedom of navigation solves war. They forgot to read an argument that says that they are freedom of navigation. Only the AF has extended that argument, which says that we are capable of sufficiently solving freedom of navigation, solving all war. That checks every terminal impact of the terrorism DA because it relies on an escalation claim, which they've just not extended in the last speech, and the freedom of navigation is an impact to the to impact filter that deterrence checks war, obviously, uh, is in, still links to their double turn on the, uh, wait, which advantage was that? Was that the norm's advantage? Which of the double turns? You have to specify. The one where they said pro of good. They doubled, oh yeah, that was an advantage too. Sorry, I forgot to put that in the order, but it does not check their double turn because they said that deterrence checks war and they won't proliferate now, but it's solved by the fact that they read a link turn for us that says the plan uniquely increases proliferation, which is key to check deterrence and is impact filter on all their stuff. But deterrence does not check our stuff because we read stuff on the counterplan that says that deterrence doesn't work against China because you're uniquely revisionist and don't listen to us, which means deterrence checks their impact, but does not check ours. Now we're capable of solving SES. Two reasons. One is the status quo strategy has failed. Only we have read evidence from 2018 about scholars who says that Chinese will China will acquiesce to international norms to international norms that we shore up via joining UNCLOS. It's a perception advantage, which uh, which is the perception advantage. They've read Z card zero about uh, the, they've read card zero about the perception. Now the line by line, they're saying uniqueness evidence is trash. No, it's not. We've read some fantastic evidence that says that new tensions in the South China Sea, such as China running roughshod and island grabbing as well as the landing of strategic bombers and aggressive phone ops means that war is more likely now. It's faster time frame than the terror DA because they have to win the terrorists get the means, motive, and ability to transport nuclear weapons that those will then be detonated, which then causes escalation. But our scenario is much faster and bypass their defense because it says that China would just go to war now via miscalculation, which was an old war they didn't say, didn't check uh, ch check back against. They say we won't go to war. That was answered above because of unique tensions and all of their evidence is from 2013. And it does not take into account new tensions. Uh, the Kaplan no war in Asia stuff is all generic and the trade tie stuff was answered above on the Iran stuff. It doesn't also check miscalculation because they did not read an impact for that. They say tiny casualties. That links more to them because I'll do that on the DA page. They say the, tra the, the tr tr Trump thumb stuff or argument, the 1AR was pretty good on this, which says that it, the plan is a massive 180 and makes the international norms reinvigorated and solves all of that. The new sandbagging the 2A argument should apply to them. They read a one card DA that became the 2NR. They say no way in the 1AR. Actually, we did fantastic amounts of it. The internal intern about joining in class gaining credibility is just wrong. Our solvency is much better. It says that the reason for why their, their argument is true is because it's uniqueness for us that we joining in class actually gives, gives us credibility. It does not force China out and it does not cause bias against China because they haven't read any card that even lists something close to empiric about that. They say care more about sovereignty than reputation, but that's just not the case. So the 1AR made some good examples about adhering to non proliferation norms that they've recently abided by, which checks back that argument. The norms argument, I already answered that, but uh, the hedge D8. Oh, you want to do this real quick? Uh, sure. The, they dropped our analytic CMR add-on in the DOC counterplan. They can see that CMR solves conflict, which means it functions as an impact filter because the public has a way sway over military. They can constrain, uh, contain adventurous policies and prevent escalation. The plan is a key signal because the Congress caved into the DOD on a major policy that the Navy wants, which bolsters CMR. It specifically takes out the terminal impact of terror because it checks any scenario for escalation, which means they have no terminal impact. You should give a, a titanic amount of weight here because Chris Conrad still hasn't said the word CMR in this debate round. Now, the double turn. They know you need for hedge decline. They missed our turn, or the, our, our seven, 2017 argument, which says that it's low now because their companies are, un are afraid of investing in tech sectors, which is key to, key to hegemony, which is their link argument that we read for us. So they read the uniqueness argument, or the turn argument made the uniqueness argument for us. Hedge is an impact filter that was above. Terra G8. Okay. Right. Um... No risk of an impact. They've conceded a few impact filters that checks their impact. They need to win a risk of escalation to prove that retaliation is true. That checks back their time frame argument, and it means that they don't access their impact, which is conceded by every double turn on the flow. Hedge is an impact filter. Only the AF can do anything about that because they straight drop the link turn on the hedge. DR turn says it's low now because companies don't invest, which means that we solve. It's also a prerequisite of global trade routes. By the way, that was dropped. Deterrence also answers everything about terror because the worst case scenario that happens for them is one nuclear bomb goes off. But if their deterrence defense generically applies, it means that states have rational incentives to not escalate, but is not defense against our miscalc scenario on the SES. Now the link debate when they 
read a piece of evidence that is not a conservative hack from pre-2010 and read a piece of evidence from someone actually involved in the military and Navy, then you should maybe consider to think some of their link arguments have some degree of credibility. But all of their arguments are based on a misreading of Unclos that is radically inconsistent with actual naval policy and totally disconnected from reality. The overview on the link debate is only we've read evidence from the Navy and Coast Guard that says ratification of Unclos would not change counterterrorism operations. This evidence is awesome and in the AF and cites current U.S. counterterrorism operations in coordination with other countries and even better, it's from the last couple of years. They conceded the 2AC extension, which is that uniqueness is decisively affirmative. The, the, the plan would not change anything about the U.S.'s actual way of conducting things because they've read only arguments about legal evidence here, but they've not connected that to actual changes in policy. The only thing that we can gain is a perception advantage as a result of joining the SCS with bolsters norms. Now, there's a couple of reasons why their links are nonsense. Interdiction isn't key. We can still force them ashore and search in there. That's the one AC song evidence has been conceded. Prefer it's an actual legal scholar that isn't a conservative hack. The Navy does it now. They won't modify their behavior. Their argument is about legal behavior, but no internal link to changing U.S. policy. If it's true that the U.S. doesn't abide by I-law, that just means that we never change our behavior. They dropped Taft. We're already constrained by the older 1950 convention, which means even if the plan creates restrictions that we follow, they're not any more restrictive than all the old stuff. And they read card zero on the fact that we're interdicting ships now, other than the fact that they're like, we should trust the U.S. because they're lo lovely and secretive and believe the Russians for some reason. The internal in intel link was obviously answered. The Navy loves it and says it's key to increasing military presence writ large, increases co-op which solves intel. Their trans case arguments presumes they want to link anyways. And, but if we solve the DA, then it doesn't really matter. The lock their evidence was also dropped, which says it increases the authority to count counter to conduct counterterrorism operations, which solves their impact writ large because it solves it, the, the problem of organization and funding. Alright. Good round. Yeah. Good round. 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 Good round